Hello, what's happening, everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing Sunday. So very happy to be here for another show. We're kicking things on with some FTL run number 45 of our R100 series. It's going to be the NGC. We're going to be grabbing some names for our crew here and name for the ship as well. If you have some name suggestions for this fine vessel, let me get caught up. I'll follow you in chat. Your wonderful sport will get named and head on in. What's up, Amoeba of Doom, Ratman Jimmy, Twin Star Fox. Hey there, Sequoia, Gastoff. What's up, Shmway? Pinball Wiz, Captain Ruel, Glorious Lord, Amp Sand. Hey there, Shaw, 696, Hobbs the Tiger. Good Opnul, Rancid, Tavi893, Tharson. And all the other cool early people. And before we start in here, Amoeba of Doom, thanks for 47 months. R Steph, thanks for 16. Mox W and LPS Stormhelm, thanks for that $25 donation. Before we get started here, I'm going to add you to the uh, name and game list right now. Let's figure out where we're at on this name and game list. You'll be our first crew named here. If you'd like anything other than uh, the name donated with added to the name and game list, just let me know. I'll get you sorted out. But you're currently going to be... Number 17. Not Storm Melm, Storm Helm. Here we go. All right, here we go. LPS Storm Helm. The Lanius. We got Gindy225. Who is the last crew named in the last run? And Brandlore. Yo, Mox W, thanks for 56 months. Well, thank you for this hype train before we even begin. All right, let's pick a ship name here. Gonna scroll up. Uh... A lot of good suggestions here. Man, that's a toughie. We'll go for number 45, Hypercube. That's a good one. Thank you all for your creative suggestions. Let's head into our run here, number 45 of our R100 series, which is a roll two, pick one sequence. We got NGC, which we have not played yet uh, on this series. NGC has a pretty nice start because it starts with hacking and dual laser. Definitely not bad. Uh, do we want the Lanius on Ioding here? Yeah, I think we do. Or Sky of the Royal Fleet is going to be trying to run here, so I think it's this shield overcharger. Ooh, that's nasty. All right, so we're going to need to load up a uh, beam drone here. I also think I'm going to go for a shield hack on this one, just to make sure it goes down. cooler if it hit there oh it didn't fire dang come on now this is tough might be getting away here in fact
jump imminent indeed. Ooh, enemy FTL delayed. I think we pulled it out here by like a fraction of a second. Holy guacamole, I can't believe that worked. Alright, I think I'm gonna go around the corner here. Go one, two, three, four, and then we go five here and head back down. Yeah, I want as much scrap as I can get before this store. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then we'll head back in here. Should be plenty of room to round this out. Yo, Gus King, thanks for 111 months. And hey, congrats on that. That's awesome, dude. All right, I'm going to use a hacking part here on weapons. This way, after this fires, I can start the hack and disjoint them. I think especially in the early game, trading a hacking part to avoid damage is a good way to go. Post hails you after the scout was destroyed. Thanks for the help. We've been harassed nonstop by those scouts. Take this on the house. Heavy laser mark one. Well, heavy laser mark one is really good. It's maybe not the best weapon for a three slot system, but for the immediate future, that's like so good. So good. I'm going to use a beam drone here. Okay, maybe not then. Okay, nice. Really good we hit with both there. I think I'm still going to go for um, getting two shields before I lock in this weapon upgrade. Anti-ship fire drone? Okay. That's also pretty cool. This fire drone could certainly net us uh, some crew kills. Or maybe just uh, gets us something at the store, but... Fire drone's not insignificant. I want to hit this store before I choose to spend anything. Alright, we're going to reject the offer here. I'm gonna go for weapon hack. Mm, do I want to use a beam drone here? I probably should because really we're not gonna need to use drones for uh, a lot of things. Okay, so right before it fires, we're gonna turn it off. It's a big trick with this ship and NGA as well. Just to wait. Ooh yeah. All right. Do I hear the clicky clack of Mana's hands right now? Oh, the fire went into the shields here. That's great. Anti-fire drone is not a common use because it takes um 
it's really only useful when you're invulnerable to the enemy ships, which is basically right now in the early game is the main spot that's going to be true. He's locked in here. He's going to try to run. Probably too late, though. Let's uh, take a peek on the sensors here, see what's happening. Okay, the O2 just burned down, so this fight is over. Very cool. I really have to make an assessment here if it's even worth upgrading to the fire drone. Because it does cost me power and drones to do so, and I have other upgrades which seem pretty nice. In a lot of cases, I can probably get a similar function from just hacking O2. For what it's worth. Lucky crew kill here. bonus reward but still quite good right, let's make sure this is pathing correctly or if i need to loop back around all right so how many of the exit here one two three four five six seven one sorry one two three four five six seven okay perfect they are rejecting the offer Okay, they have anti-personnel drone here, so no, no harm. Almost seems like I can maybe get a crew kill here with an O2 hack, or I can just save my part. Hey, let's go for it. It's gonna give me a an option. I'm gonna try to take it. Okay, they have level 202, which does complicate this a little bit. I think we'll be all right, though. Okay. Yeah, sure does, Corello. Does have a good breach chance. And they got uh, some jukes over here. So the reason this should work is that uh, when they repair the O2 back, my hacking is going to be back on. So we'll just leave it like this. And really about three cycles of this is going to be enough provided we hit here okay double fire in the o2 room is good and it's bad uh, it's good because it's removing o2 from the room as we speak it's bad because now there's going to be two crew trying to repair in that room okay this is looking good Uh, yeah, I guess getting jet lags the son of a gun. I think the reason right here is exactly why I'm probably not going to use the fire drone. Because I can do that. I mean, 
If I sell uh, Defense Scrambler and Fire Drone, I can pick up Cloaking here. It certainly does not seem bad. I can also just choose to straight up buy two shields and uh, weapon power right now. But. I think getting cloaking this early is exactly what I want. Yeah, I'm gonna buy cloaking here. I mean, it's the system that I want to get, and uh, defensively, it's better than two shields. The fact we can afford it here in the middle of Sector 1 is just stupendous. Alright, so we got the ship here that has the O2 and the weapons separated. We should be able to get a crew kill here. I don't even think I need to use a hacking part to make this happen. Hopefully we hit here. Good. Okay, O2's down beautiful. Now I just need to hit the uh, weapons repeatedly. Easy. Yo, good morning, Dikowski. Okay, game over right there. This dual laser has been a beast with the fires. Even if you put the fires out, the the fires have now consumed enough oxygen in that room. It'll be the first room to run out of oxygen. And uh, therefore, that's it. He's going to run out of health to repair. Even better. their digital JDR. What's well, good, man? Super fortunate beginning to this one. I think with Cloaking here, I might get the, the weapons online before I grab two shields. Seems fair. Let's just go ahead and buy the weapon power now, because bringing the heavy laser in opens up even more possibilities for crew kills. Alright, Pulsar is dangerous here at one shield. Oh boy, okay. Well. I'm glad to have my extra weapons right now. I'm just going to cloak here. Okay, we timed that out well, and our beam drone stayed online. This is over for them. There was a distinct possibility of our weapons and our drones going down, so I was a little bit nervous on that one. Frying pan into the fire. Here we go. 
Okay, we can just cloak this projectile and we should be fine. One thing you can definitely say for our um, cloaking is it's saving us from using hacking parts already. Okay, sensors are down. Uh, also, doors are on fire. Let's collapse here. has been an amazing sector one sensor station let's go not just amazing in the tight like amount of ship fights we've gotten and our rewards but also really great in uh just overall composition here like the ship fights haven't been super gnarly or anything it's just been nice Classic late map reveal. Demand a surrender of their goods. Beautiful. Enemy FTL charging, not so beautiful. I think I'm in a shield hack here. I'm actually I should probably go for um piloting hack. Breach in the shields, and they have system repair as well, so I'm glad I hack now. Very glad. Okay. They seem like they're about done for. Three breaches. Wow. Ooh, fireball. Firebomb can get crew kills in some other areas that we couldn't previously. That's nice. Um, I'm going to buy two shields here because two shields protect us against the, the nasty ships that can appear here. We haven't seen one yet, but doesn't mean they won't. Anti-combat drone, actually pretty useful. Is there a world where I end up diving here? In sector one. I mean, I already have cloaking for the ASB. I think versus a two shield ship, we are a little bit weak right now. I could see myself taking uh, four or five missile damage, so I'm not going to dive. I will definitely consider diving in sector two, though. Most certainly. Let's take civvy sector. Ooh, look at all this nebula, dude. Excellent. Okay, so I kind of need to go up through here and then uh, swing back down before coming over this way. We actually don't have a good connection to the exit here, so uh, we're actually ending on this jump, which makes these nebulas not as good, but still fine. Hey, that's how they get you. Thanks for 26 months. Appreciate that. Thank you. I got 21 parts now. I'm going to hack their piloting, I think. Anything but the sensors in the nebula, sir. Please. How will I find my way through the hallways?
Yeah, we could definitely use a power bar here. There we go. Didn't need a power bar, but I wanted it. Alright, I'm going to start with this volley, and if it doesn't hit, I'll just load up two shields. We have time to bring that online before the chain laser fires. Okay. I feel like a fire started in here. I'm gonna hit the O2 again. I was looking for a breach there. Let's just say we're not gonna get a crew kill here. Not without using a hacking part. I don't even think the hacking part guarantees a kill. I'm gonna chill on that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven before that one. Ooh, this connects up. Okay. All right, so one and a half, two, would be three, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, six and a half, seven and a half. I should probably cut one nebula out of this. Let's go one, this is two, this is three. Oh, that's a little tricky. Maybe we cut this one right here. Go one. This will be two. This is three, four, five, six, seven. Boom. I think that's it. That's going to be it. We'll cut this jump and we'll get the rest of the nebulas on our way out. They're hacking my engines, don't care. Okay, they only have one shield themselves. Let's check this out. Seems to me I should be able to get a crew kill here with an O2 hack. They don't have the most hole, but... Uh, I should be able to guarantee right now that the Mantis becomes the repairer of the O2. Right, I'm going to three-man collapse on this. We should be able to get a kill on it. That's fine. I think he died on the floor there. Indeed he did. Ooh, the fire spread to an adjacent tile. Awesome. Could've got a slightly quicker kill there, I think, with, uh... Okay, they're at... They're gaining health, so they have level 2 medbay. All's well that ends well. Mana Scout is one of the lowest HP ships in the game. So very unlikely we get a crew kill here. No, I'm going to try to hit O2 and then hit weapons here. Uh, let's go all into weapons first. I don't trust it.
Hmm, he left the room? Alright, hold on. No, never mind. Well. Just not enough hole left here, which is the problem with Mana Scout. At seven hole, it's just very difficult to get a crew kill on. I'm thinking two hacking here doesn't look too bad. Let's save up, though. Alright, we're coming back for this one last. Alright, this ship can't damage us. Actually gonna leave the room and then put him in here. Kind of weird to tank with a <laughs> non O2 unit, but kills a kill. Okay. Now I got to consider if I can pull this off or not with an O2 hack. I think it's worth trying. Okay, they got level two O2. And since they have so little hull, I'm going to do a little maneuver here. We're going to uh, start our hack. I'm going to fire only one of the lasers. I'm going to drop power. This is going to be an engineer repairing in there. Takes him a long time to get through the door, though long enough that our, our hacking will be back up. Very nice. Would have been a lot nicer if I could have uh, locked the door there. Okay, lock behind him anyways. Got him. All right, I'm gonna clone uh, Gindy here. I think I might actually. Oh, he's already pretty trained. I was thinking about moving the Lanius to engines instead. That's where we're going to commit like this. Uh, distress beacons in the early game are kind of crew risk, Gus King. So uh, before I have rock and engineer, uh, I'm less likely to take distress. Uh, basically, the more crew I have or the more tools I have, the more desirable distress beacons become. But very often in uh, distress beacons are a chance of crew loss or hull damage in exchange for a reward so it's kind of a risk reward deal and your stuff is worth more in the early game especially crew okay since they have fire drone, I think it's extremely unlikely here that they have an anti-personnel drone, or sorry, a system repair drone as well. 
So this is definitely going to be O2 Hack City. Yeah, we did not see a drone leave, so it's definitely just a human. Oh, great question, Gus Gang. Thanks for asking it. Not that distress beacons are inherently bad, they're just inherently more risky than other jumps. miss? Okay. I'm getting a little low over there. It's been such a fortunate run for uh, enemy ship compositions for me. It's honestly been a dream so far. No guarantee of our success, but a pretty, pretty cool run, regardless. Ugh. Background's great. All right, double store coming up. Oh, yeah. I think we're kind of showing here that the firebomb isn't going to be used. Firebomb can also be a crew killer, but we're high on hacking parts and the ships where we have time, like we would with the firebomb, we're able to hack O2 instead. Now, there, there is a situation where firebomb could definitely provide more crew kills, but since we only have three weapon slots and there's weapons showing here, we're going to choose to escalate like this. And since I don't have to, I'm not going to sell either of these resources either. 25, 35 equals 60, so I can just get this online right now. Great. Hold on, before I do that, let's jump to this next door, huh? Wow, long-range scanners, okay. Um, I want to go for long-range scanners here, and I'm going to sell the anti-drone drone to purchase a backup battery, too. This is a very nice step up for us. Now we just buy weapon power, and we have backup battery for our other systems. Great. Another ship that can't damage us. All right. O2 hack time. Stunned your own crew. I end up reboarding here, and that's fine. Yo, good morning, Brandlore. Nice job on the ship so far today. 
holding down doors like a pro. An even slightly smarter way to do this would be to, before firing, drop the door to let him out of the room. Just had that realization. And that way we could have him have to break all the way back in. No more boarding happening. Almost made it, bud. Almost. Yo-ho, Matt the Rock. What's happening? All right, Matt the Rock is going to be uh, named Magna Helic. Got him. Rock's a great crew to have. They uh, provide a lot of, a lot of options for blue choices. All right, this ship certainly has some stuff. I'm going to go ahead and use a hacking on the piloting, and I'll cloak myself. Yo, Smurfizzle, thanks so much for 90 months of support. Thank you. is a tough one, Zach. You just really have to focus on replacing that heavy ion for a better projectile weapon. Uh, hacking goes a long way as well, but without a doubt, uh, NGB is one of the most challenging starts. If you keep trying, you'll eventually uh, get there. Okay, we're going to sell 10 for 30 here. Amazing. Is there a fight back here? There is. I think I'm diving right now. I don't see why not. Um, if I purchase this weapon power, that brings us to a five laser complement, so we get a very nice hit on enemy weapons. We're really just incurring um, a risk of getting hit by the ASB, and I can make this work. We're gonna buy three engines after this jump. Uh, buying crew is definitely not necessary on NGB, though it is often a nice thing to have. Alright, we're going to go for that old uh, O2 hack again. Here we go. Only level 1. Nice. Probably hit weapons once. Okay, it's an ion bomb. Ion bomb to shields definitely could hurt us here. I would say that saving up for a uh, weapon upgrade or hacking would be much more important than uh, getting an additional crew. Enemy FTL charging. Dang, he's trying to break in the door too, so this is like really bad. Okay, enemy FTL delayed. He's going in through the O2. He's not trying to repair that, so we should have the kill here. Oh, yeah, we're good. We're good. Ooh. 
Get out of here, pirate scout. All right, so now we're going to buy three engines, and we are floating a very weird amount of power, but we have options on this dive. Basically two power behind where I'd like to be, and that's fine. Okay, if I disable either weapon, looking pretty okay here. I'm gonna roll this rock down to doors, and then I'm gonna drop a shield here, and I think I hack weapons. Hack weapons, five laser volley repeatedly. like that. Okay, it's still hit. That's fine. That's fine. Important pieces we're getting out of here before the ASB fires again. No harm, no foul. Hey, well, it would have been nice to pick up this uh, this ship for score. Not that important. Yo, homeless messiah, thanks so much for 71 months. Thank you. All right, well, normally here I'd be going NG control because all the free stuff potential. We already have long range scanners. We've already completed our weapon system for sector three, and we're doing pretty good on getting crew kills. So I think we just go Uncharted Nebula here to get more jumps with long range scanners. The benefit of Nebulas is these blue jumps are only 80% fleet pursuit, so a simple way to look at that is for every five blue jumps we take, we're getting one extra jump uh, in the sector. The downside is, is that many of the jumps are empty, so by having long-range scanners, we can uh, circumnavigate the empty jumps and just pick up the reward. Very nice uh, exit location here, bottom right as well. Let's begin by heading down, and then we'll swing back up this way. I think in my immediate future, uh, two, two power bars. Looks good. Oh my god. The debris from a battle is scattered around the system. A few pieces bounce against your ship. You passively scan them and discover there's a functioning weapon among them. Well, Halber Beam is much more future-proof than this five laser setup. So I think for the immediate Sector 3 here, that uh, the five laser setup's better. When we're talking about flagship fight, the Halber Beam is going to be really nice. Can't ask for much more than that, and if I did, I'd be greedy. Long range scanner. Boom. I mean, my gut's telling me to skip this store because what do I buy at the store? Nothing. I can sell beam drone for something I don't need right now. We're going to go here, 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 or maybe through here and then swing back up through this jump. So I was trying to get away. Fair enough. I mean, it really seems like I don't need to use a part here. So. If our first volley completely whiffs piloting, I will then consider 
Okay, uh, just like that. Now I'll use a part. I'm coming. Attack the pirate. Hell yeah, dude. Alright, so this one can't damage us. We're probably going for that O2 hack thing again. I don't see why not. Level 302. Wang. Kind of sounds like an NG too. A little unfortunate, but fair. I feel like if a ship can't damage us, I might as well go for it. That is not. <laughs> that is not an engineer, in fact. Just one guy with some stinky humanitis. Get this repair done, but the very nice offer is seven missiles. Not even level 302 can save you, pirate scum. 32 scrap and Kara the engine mantis. You know, I don't mind plopping the uh mantis on engines here. Cool. Man, his name is Galatris. All right, we're going to go one, two, three. Then through here. I can buy one more power bar right now. Mostly so that I can uh, power the beam drone if I need to. Uh, welcome back, Chris. Hey, Nikoya, thanks so much for making it official with Prime. Cheers. Thanks so much for that support. It means a lot. Okay. I think I just go for a weapon slam here. Anytime we can save a hacking part, that's good.
There won't be a next time. Open fire. All right, since they have a missile launcher, it does make it harder to get the O2 kill. But not technically impossible. I think I just need to slam weapons here. Uh, it's very unlikely we get the crew kill. Fire started in this room. I'm sure of that. Ooh, breach as well. Interesting. Please excuse me for just a second grabbing a quick refill and I think just a piece of bread real fast.
right, good timing there. Looks like we sat back down right as the ad was clearing. Thanks for your patience on that one. Um, let's take a look at our pathing here. So, I like the idea of hitting this distress because it could be quite a few things, including a double reward uh, here in the nebula, but it's not a nebula beacon. So we should decide if we're losing any jumps for taking a non-nebula here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can include this jump and then six more nebulas. We go one, two, Yeah, that should work out fine. All right, I'll lead you to your destination. Quest marker added to the next sector. All right, all right. I feel like I can probably get an O2 kill here. Give it a try. Okay, I want to let this uh, engineer through here. Okay, they're in my sensors. Let's just vent that. Okay, so I'd like to have the... Uh, Weapons hit first here, because this will make the Manus the repairer. But... It's a tough one. Let's go here. And here. And then here. Not convinced that worked out the way I wanted. But okay. Yo, what's up, William Murder Phase? Yeah, it has been an excellent start to this run for uh, our crew's capacities. Got the wrong crew repairing the O2. That's fine. Only level one here, so we have some additional outs. Okay, so he's going to try to leave the room. We're going to let him. in the battery. Yo, Mr. Pop, thanks for 17 months. Thanks a lot. Okay, didn't even go to the med bay. Nice. That worked out great. same from the store. I kind of just want to buy something out right now. Like, I gotta ask myself, what am I actually going to buy here? That isn't a direct upgrade to our stuff. Can bring the halberd beam in, in line right now. It's definitely a possibility. Three lasers, halberd beam, sounds like I have to use a part in every fight, though. I don't think we really need to make that assessment until... Uh, sector 5. I think a good one here will be level 2 hack. Makes our O2 hack strategy even more devastating. Back the ship. Not getting a crew kill here, but also don't need to use a part. Uh, 
Oh, well. Excuse me while I waffle a moment. Ooh, and we got a breach in there. That's that's a bad time for them. Up Zarpath. I think they just left the weapons room, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna let this crew in here. Okay, they got the weapons back online even. That works. My idea is if this guy dies, then there's less crew able to try to repair weapons. Pull another one in. You'd think they'd learn. Okay, let's just keep taking the fights that are showing. With having a missile launcher and having clone bay, I think it's going to be a tough one to get a kill on. Let's just go for a weapons hit here. We won't need to use a hacking part, so that's a bonus. Okay, we got a breach here, though. <laughs> well. If you put it that way. There we go. Heavy laser mark one. Pretty good. Let's attack the ship. I mean, I believe I can do this. Let's keep going. Let's keep getting them. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to hit this again. This is uh, not happening for him.
Alright, this fight's super over. Oh, they're giving up. Alright. That's fair. Alright, might as well take this one. 146 scrap right now. I mean, dang, dude. Okay, they have Halberd Beam online. I have a hard time imagining we don't take out the Halberd Beam on our first hit here. I'm going to go for this without using the, uh... Oh, actually, I have an out here that's interesting. I could I could hit the empty room twice to get the kill, because the halberd beam doesn't actually... damage us to use backup battery. I think this is going to be even better. Okay, they aren't powering any weapons. Enemy FTL charging, enemy FTL delayed. And get wrecked. All right, sweet. Now, technically, the uh, the exit is going to be a non ASB dive. So I think I'm actually going to take this jump and this jump and then dive on the exit because we get one extra jump this way. What a good, sweet girl Daisy do I got. Hi, Daisy. Okay, that was pretty cute meow you did there. Uh-uh. Uh, I think we just take option three here. It's a high scrap reward for nothing. Could also try to get a crew kill, but I think saving the hacking part and just taking the high scrap rewards can be good. Because the only thing we can get better than the high scrap reward would be, um, you know, another crew or weapon or something. Listen here, Daisy Dude. Yeah. You're in my lap right now. What a good kidders. What a good kidders. Your sweet girl this morning. What happened? What happened? The only advantage here, uh, William, is that we get the extra jump to check. So the advantage of fighting in the end of the fleet, it's usually you're taking other other jumps for more scrap. Okay, 195 scrap before the dive. 195 is a lot since we already have cloaking lined up and we have halberd beam. I think three hack here is um, seeming pretty good. Three shields also definitely not bad, but this is only sector three. I also have cloaking, so three shields becomes less desirable. Yeah, you're laying on my headphone cord, Daisy. What's up? You're being pretty good getters, though. Yeah, pretty good getters, though. Mm -hmm. Okay, Daisy. But. That's pretty. I can't reach my mouse when you're sitting there, Daisy, and I think you know that. Well, Daisy, since you're only a sweet kidder is about twice a month, I'm just going to deal with it, all right?
I'm being extra sweet right now. Lucky, what a lucky day. And yeah. Uh, I don't know if I should buy anything here yet, or I should wait to see if we're getting stores or what. We just go for two, uh, two weapon power, two power bars, and just load Halberd in right now. I still think Sector 5 is the time where the Halberd needs to come online, not really before. Oh, Daisy has a pretty cute noise you just made. Pretty cute. Sorry, my cat's demanding more and more pets. Yeah. You're Daisy. No. All right, no biting the microphone. That's where I draw the line, Daisy. That's where I draw the line. Hey, hey, talking to you. That's my headphone cord. Hey, you're going to get kicked off my lap here in a minute. Keep that up. Listen here. You're in a frenzy right now, girl. You're in a frenzy. I think we're safe now. The uh, sweet girl Daisy's left the building. Got a stinky kitty in my lap now. Alright, I don't think there's much benefit to... Uh, I think I, what I want to grab is an engine here and two power bars. I think that's the play. Yes, Daisy. Okay, I get it. You're the kidders of our generation. Hey, get out of here. Get out of here. Alright, this setup's actually not very scary. In fact, I probably don't even need to use a part. Unless we miss a bunch. I'll use a part on engines here. I might as well grab the kill on the ship, is my feeling. Only reward here is one fuel, but it's still something, and it adds to our score at the end of the run as well. Cool, cool. All right, NG controlled. Cool, man. This has just been a baller run for scrap. What was this quest? This quest was lead us to a repair station. Yeah, it seems really unlikely we're getting that because the way up to the exit makes a lot more sense from this side. If this connected, we had a lot more options, but as it is right now, it looks like these jumps are probably cut from the sector. Alright, let's attack the ship. 
Well, I think we know the drill here. I need to let him through. Where's he going, though? In the engines? All right. Oh, fire must have spread into the engines here. I see. See, the thing with Daisy is she doesn't actually bite the cord in most cases. She just lets you know that she could bite the cord if she wanted to. All right, Markle the Zoltan. What's up, dude? I think Markle's going to be a shield room guy here. I really like uh, Zoltans on engines, too. But I think centralized here is the way to go. we we'll keep the rock on sensors. Let's get Markle a new name. That is going to be... Uh, Barkelson. I'm definitely tempted to keep chasing this scrap, but I'd also like to reveal the stuff up here. Let's take this distress. We have a lot of good stuff for distress beacons right now. I think destroying loose just as good as number three here. In fact, this can lead to a ship fight, which is what is something I'd want. Okay. Whoa, double Zoltan boarding party. That's pretty scary. Bent this out as fast as we can. And then we'll keep them separated here. That's nice. Fire starting there is actually huge. One, it's pulling uh, oxygen out of the room as we speak. And two, it's making the this NG not want to repair O2 right now, which is giving us more time. I guess I might as well cloak here. Oh, yeah. Keep it crispy. That went well. All right, let's just keep the fights coming here. Made the civilian ship. All right, now this one has double missile launchers, so I think uh, we're not going to play with it. I'm going to try not to use a hacking part here. I'm going to begin by just hitting weapons. Let's 
good. Okay, we also got a breach there, so, um, all right then. Twist my arm, why don't you? Wow, devastating. Downright rude, what we just did. Okay, they have more than level one med bay. And that's okay, because we can definitely just knock them out there. Okay, we'll let them in the room, close it down. Door should lock behind him, I think. Not quite. All right, this is fine. We'll just wait our turn. Oh, brave Syringi. Can't blame him there. sure where this fits in. I mean, I guess immediately we can just do this for have one more projectile. But uh, the halberd beam is still looking very desirable. Let's do this, and if we end up getting another three projectile weapon, we could consider uh, not using the halberd beam. I think it's somewhat fair to say here that I don't need to take both stores. I can get away with one. So I think we go here and then take this store. Uh, excuse me for like one moment here. Just going to nom a quick um, egg and toast. Need to get something in my stomach this morning. All right. Thanks for your patience there. What I was doing on breaks, I was imagining the ships that could be in this pulsar that could potentially damage us. Um, it's definitely not a non-zero amount. 
Entering Pulsar at two shields is the weakest point to enter. Because at two shields, you, um, you lose all of your shields in the Pulsar. So I think even though I'm only going to take one store here, I'm still going to take three shields. Which we can power right now temporarily. There's a lot more defensive flexibility. It's good, Funky Gordillo. All right, out of ships I was worried about, this one is not really up there. Basically, Slib Slob, you open up an additional loot table when you get crew kills, meaning that uh, in addition to possibly getting your normal reward, you can also get uh, high fuel and scrap, you know, weapon, crew, drone part, etc. You can also just get the rewards you would have gotten either way, but... On average, you get more stuff. Okay. Ooh. Um, I'm going to take this offer. Explosive Replicator sells really well. That's just a nice offer all around. We get our drone part back. 38 scrap, one drone part, and something that sells for 27. One way to look at it is if you got a crew kill on every ship on your run, you'd probably average about 15% more scrap. But it's not just about the scrap count. Like, in the early game, it's especially relevant because... You can get a weapon that it saves you from having to buy it early. Or you can get a weapon at a key moment or crew at a key moment where that doesn't directly translate to scrap value. There's a... A different value applied so in addition to the extra scrap you probably get there's other benefits too okay i think flak dual laser halberd beam is where this runs at right now i think we're just going to buy two weapon power here and make that happen oh there's another store okay i'm not wholly convinced i want to see this store can I get away with not hitting this door? Maybe not. I have to leave through this jump. It is one, two, three, four. So no, I'm gonna have to hit this door no matter what. Probably looking at like one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. I definitely don't need this store, but I'm going to have to go there. Okay, let's just do this now. I'll buy some power after this store, since we're forced to go there anywho. Alright, five projectiles, halberd beam. Yeah, Daisy is acting out this morning. She was in my lap for a bit. That's why she's acting out. Um, what's your problem here? Ooh, okay. I think sending Manus crew here, we either get a crew or the Manus kills the other Manus. Yeah, your crew member's forced to kill him. That's tough. Hey, that was you, Glotris. Awesome. I'm going to buy four fuel here, and then I'm just going to buy some power bars. Let's buy one power bar, level two backup battery. I think three hackings on the menu. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> okay. Honestly, for what we're doing right now, Heavy Laser Mark II is probably better than the Halberd Beam. So that's seven projectiles for nine damage. It's a little bit faster than Halberd Beam, and this Heavy Laser lets us fully disable systems such as O2 with a guarantee. If anything, this may overpower our offense a little bit for getting crew kills. I think overall, this is more cohesive on timing. All right, combat drone. Like you knew, Carnosaur. All right, two, two, and two for a reactor upgrade. I mean, we are getting a scrap upgrade for non-scrap value, so I'm going to do it. Slug controlled it is. Mm, pretty nice looking exit there. Pirate hacker, let's attack the ship. Yikes. Um, maybe I should beam drone here. I don't think so. Really just trying to save a part here, but I maybe should have done something a little different. We'll see soon. Nah, I think my play paid off here. This ship has way too few hull to be, um, way too few hull to be trying to go for a crew kill on. That hack do be annoying though. There you go, Carnosaur. Complete, unequivocal proof of your mind powers. Alright, this ship can't even damage us. Since it can't damage us, we might as well get the crew kill with the O2 hack. Start the hack. They reboarded with double mana, so that's rude.
All right, that was a little peculiar, but we made it. So the O2 stabilized, go back to positions. I'm actually considering a value clone bay here, just to keep very topped off. Don't have that many purchases I need or even want to make right now, so seeming pretty good. I'm gonna buy two cloner heals. Bring us from 8 HP per jump to 16 HP per jump healed. Certainly not bad. Alright, let's get to the station right now. All right, let's just go here. Gives the most flexibility. I think I might additionally be uh, purchasing some Some drone parts of this next door. All right, let's just continue here. They're in my O2. We've already shown that if I cut the O2 here, I can definitely get the this vented in time. can't damage me now, so we can just go for the uh, other hit here. Even if all of the ions land, it's fine. And now we're just playing a waiting game. This is that awesome slug interceptor ship that has the O2 separated from the rest of the uh, cabin. We like these guys. Alright, they're big time done. The most done you can get, in fact, double dead. Good to know. The ship, this uh, run has had a crazy amount of ship fights on it already. I would bet at this point in the game we're um, exceeding the previous Federation A run, which had 33 ships defeated. I think we're already over that. I'm buying fuel and drone parts here. 
automated reloader is not an insignificant upgrade here. Um... All right, let's go ahead and just do it. I'm going to sell off Halberd Beam. Well, I, I do love Halberd Beam. I can see that I'm not going to need it here. Definitely opening open to diving. Let's head down here and see what gets revealed. I don't technically have to get this store either. Okay, maybe there's a play here where I go one, two, three, four, and then we swing back around. Now these don't connect up properly. I think we're heading down here and then we hook back up at the last second. Pretty formidable ship. Uh, three hacking something I can buy here. I'm not too scared of the ship. They have it max. They have five lasers on a perfect volley. So let's hack O2. That's great. Wow! I mean, nice job, dude. The fact that they left piloting there tells me there's probably a fire in that room. Enemy FTL charging, can you not? Can't believe they got multiple damages out there. Pretty rude, man. Pretty rude. <laughs> Hull repair drones, definitely not a bad pickup here. I'm going to go for it. It's kind of the ultimate measure in safety at the moment. Let's buy this. Let's go ahead and take these three drone parts. Let's repair up to 23. If I could take those back, I would. And then we're going to buy three hacking next. It looks to me like I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, and then double dive. So you know your run's going pretty good when you're just casually double diving. Oh, you did. I think the slug in that room is actually physically dead on the floor.
And now we wait. Maybe about 20 more seconds, I'd imagine. So our third slug intercept of this sector, which is kind of rare for Sector 5. I really like slug controlled Sector 4 because this ship appears very commonly and it's a pretty easy crew kill in most cases. All right, three hack power bar. Door system? Nah. This is NGC, Mike Marin. All right, so that's going to be a firebomb. Eh, I don't know about O2 kill on this one. Let's just hit their weapons real hard. I think I could maybe get a crew kill, but it's it comes at a cost of a, a part here. Oh, it still landed? Dang. Thought if I got a breach in there, I'd consider it, but I didn't. Oh, nice. Three fights on the way here. Yeah, we're going to be double diving on this sector. And another one. All right, on this one, I think I'm going to go for... Weapon hack. Between a level three weapon hack and cloaking, I should be able to dodge this every time. Yo, heals. Thanks so much for 133 months. Thank you. That's a good start. 133 S as long as they get. I mismanaged my timings here. Distracted by 133 months of support. Wowzy. Um, okay. He has to break into the room while the FTL is charging. That's problematic. We'll see. Oh, I think this door locks behind him and we're fine. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Too late, sir. Too late. Oh, right. This room had a breach. I'm like, why isn't the engine crew dead yet? Because this room is much lower on O2 than the rest of the ship because that initial breach starting. Even with the slug repair gel, it still probably removed 40% O2 from the room.
feel like O2 hack here is reasonable. Big miss. Oof. Okay, we get another go at it here. I think this one was kind of an unnecessary risk, but I do it again. Wait for him to cloak here. I would definitely do it again. Enemy FTL charging. They don't have any um, O2 right now, so it seems unlikely they actually get away. Even without that hit, we were still secure. I mean... Level 302, you don't say. Nice. Might be eating a missile here. Oh, or not. Chain burst laser sells pretty well. Okay, now we are going into a double dive, but my plan is to actually kill these dive ships. So let's just stabilize on our power here. Guess I'm actually floating one extra with the backup battery. It went pretty all right, VG Mangos. Thanks for asking. Been a very fun run here today. by value cloak power bar no value cloak engine power bar okay. since both these jumps are nebulous there will be no anti-ship battery that's not a not a joke of a setup
This song is a certified banger, dang. Oh no! He teleported but didn't quite make it over. Like that episode of Star Trek. Gonna be a second version of that dude somewhere. That's tough. Hey there, volunteers. What's good? Mantis Homeworlds NG Control. Well, I will say that Mantis Homeworlds has a lot of ships that are easy to get crew kills on. But I'm still going to go NG Controlled here. It's not about the stores, it's about me not wanting to deal with Mantis Borders. It's not that I can't, it's just an additional complication that is a bit of an annoyance. Let's go here and then here, I think. Open to the idea of skipping that store, too. There's good jumps down below. Hey, the civilian ship. Don't want to get boarded by Manus? Well, anyways. Here we go. Alright, so my thought is I can separate these crew and they come out of the room. There we go. Think that this engineer might be boarding right now? Oh, yeah. It's pretty rude. we 
You see the NG there? He just teleported back. He's like, oh, heck. He just laid down. Too bad, man. Too bad. No fights down here. Fair enough. Good time for level 202 here. Buy uh, two power bars because I can. E of fights. We did win the Federation run yesterday, yes. Tough one. Alright, I mean, that's a very serious setup. But, um, we're still going to O2 hack here. We've been O2 hacking this entire run. Let's keep it up. I really have the crew position saved there. Shame on me. All right, so on this one, I'm going to start with a uh, weapons hit. Okay, let's just start. I'm going to let him in that room, so again, I can separate the crew and they reboard. The thing about a level 3 O2 hack versus level 1 is we'll eventually uh, strip all of their O2. Fair hit, fair hit. Shields is doing pretty good now. No, I was saved in the right position. I just didn't press the button. Fair enough. Not pressing the button sounds like something I do. A human with a brain. That's tough. <laughs> I'm loving that they're boarding there. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay, I said level one hack instead of level three. Oh well. Still gonna be a kill here. Slot him in so we can lock him out. Okay, the door maintained its damage count. That's definitely fair. It sure does, Mike Mirren. That is definitely the Lania strategy. I agree. You got an O2 system, we'll hack it. I guarantee it. Another pretty advantageous spot for them to board. Nineteen scrap, get it together, man. This is sector six. Nineteen ain't gonna cut it.
can just buy out four shields right now and probably should. Um, uh, reject your offer. Only three crew here? Dang, dude. I'm gonna hack piloting here and just completely slam their weapon system. Okay, we got a breach there, so now I'm kind of tempted to shoot on O2 as well. Looks like they have three O2, in fact. So all that's going to be left is taking out the uh, the clone bay when somebody actually dies. I guess these two guys are dead. Oh, I imagine that I had a... Uh, I imagine that I had O2 hack there, not pilot hack. All right, let's wait here. Yo, Rums Bad, thanks so much for 45 months. Really appreciate that continuation. Thank you all for that wonderful support and the continued opportunity to be here and entertain you. No place I'd rather be, nothing I'd rather be doing. It's true. Six fuel, 53 scrap. Let's buy four shield bubbles. A little shy on power at the moment, and that's I. Actually, I guess we're not shy on power at the moment. Value weapon next. Investigate the battlefield. All right, kind of same deal here. We're going to hack uh, piloting. For me, Firestorm, Beam Drone is one of the single most useful things to have on Phase 3 of the flagship fight. So if I was going to sell it or give it up, I'd need to have something I'd be directly replacing it for. To that point, if something has any use at all, we're not going to sell it unless we have some get, gain some tangible benefit from the exchange. Yo, Airborne Hard, thanks for 82 months. 82. Thanks, dude. System repair drone ain't bad. This is nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Butte. Okay, double asteroid field into store. Oh. Okay, combat two, black two. I mean, I don't really see a reason that I can't O2 hack here. I need to respect the ship's offense with that... that drone, but... Oh, that was sneaky. We got cloaking to stabilize versus this. I think I'd even take it a step further and say I'd be more willing to sell the combat drone than I would the beam drone.
Okay, I want to wait for the O2 to be completely gone. Like, I'm willing to let the Zoltan clone here. Um, I, fe I fear if I hit the clone bay right now that the engineer will be able to repair it. Okay, their shield bubble came back online. Awesome. Barely a crew kill, but barely counts. Well, we know the drill here. My hacking part just get shot down. That's rude. Gonna be buying parts at the next, uh... Door. Level 302? Come on, man. Level 3, though? Good. Yo, Destin the Insane. Thanks so much for that gift sub package. Really appreciate that. It's huge and sincere. Thank you for all the support you all show. Would not have this experience without you. That is a fact. It's getting spicy in there. Yo, BG Mangos, thanks for a tier 2 106 month streak. Legend. Dead ski. Huh. I could see system repair having some value in our composition. Am I willing to drop either combat or beam for it? I feel like this ship does a pretty good job versus the flagship phase three. I'm going to drop combat drone. Keep system repair. Going to buy four drone parts here. Honestly, defense drone is also pretty monumental for the flagship fight. Yeah, let's sell system repair and pick up defense drone here. We got we got the dream trio. Defense one beam and full repair. Yo, Airborne Pingo, thanks for that gift as well. Cheers, everybody. I'm ignoring that station. Doesn't show fights back here. Doesn't mean there isn't any. All right. All right, I got some questions here, Fish. First, why is your name Fish? Second... Why are you 32% off what a normal human would cost? I need to see some credentials here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, I don't know about this guy. You're right. There's nothing wrong with being named Fish, but if your name's Fish and you're over 30% off... Okay, just saying a couple red flags here. That's all I'm saying. I like picking up a crew. I'm actually considering huts. Um, extra engineer for repair purposes. And like we're actually in a position to buy crew here, so it seems appropriate. I think humans are 40, uh, chemo nerd. 
I very rarely buy crew, but I'm really stretching to find things I can spend scrap on right now. We have an entire other sector to go. Let's pick up huts here. This may end up being like a dead purchase if we find other crew, but um, I'd much rather have seven crew than six. It's Jay Malerpus. Okay, let's buy value here. Buy engine and power bar. Okay. Oh, I need to buy a value weapon power next. That's what I've been not buying that I should. Wowzy. That is a 10 projectile volley for 12 damage incoming, and it all times out pretty well as well. Damn. Well, I guess the, the easy one to go here is just hack weapons. This is a very serious ship, to say the least. Tickle squad, assemble. Commence the tickling. That's tough. Uh, I think with that last engine purchase we made, though, we still get out in time. We do. Ooh, Rebel Stronghold for sure. Now, one of the empty white jumps here is going to have a uh, Rebel Stronghold event. We'll hope we find that. If not, we're still fine. Store is moderately tempting, but I don't know, man. I think we're just going to go up and around here. I guess we can even come back down to the store if we want. We'll see about that. Pulsar is definitely dangerous. Gotta respect it. Yo, KSWA, thanks for that gift as well. Too kind, Destrina, 118 months. Sorry for missing you earlier. Two more for a decade? Dang. Decade, though? No messing around with O2 hack here in the Pulsar. Primary target is weapons. Ooh, it took down me shields. Getting really lucky on these uh, targeting locations. This very easily could have uh, could have hit us. Also, uh, scarily reminded that they can do five ion damage at this later point. I'm gonna go one, two, and then maybe come back down here to the store. I don't know. Very likely the last store we're gonna hit see. And waiting to be completely free of ion damage here to jump. That's what we do. 
Is there any advantage of going to the store first? No. The more I look at this, the more I think I'm probably just skipping the store. Yes, thank you all for those gifts during that hype train. Hope all the uh, recipients enjoy the emos community and ad-free viewing. Appreciate you all very much. Thanks for all that you do to make this content full-time, but thanks for the most important thing, which is the time you're choosing to spend here to watch right now. Appreciate that most of all. Shouldn't need to use a part here. Gives me the kill on the next volley. Butte. Scout's gonna try to run. Let's uh, hack their engines and make sure that doesn't happen. That's rude. So I'm going to go for a level 3 hack here, because if I time this out correctly, I can actually fire the black dual laser under the same hacking duration. I'm going to hit shields here, too. Yeah, that's, that's good, because uh, they had piloting 3. A little unexpected. So definitely fair. Pretty cute gift emote there, Rillo. I like that one. Alright, I am going to go down here. The Stronghold event could be any of these empty beacons, so... Oh, man. It's happening. You arrive at the beacon to find yourself in a huge rebel shipyard, scaffolding and construction drones filling the sector. The entire system looks devoted to ship construction. The nearby planets and moons ruthlessly mined to harvest resources for a ship of immense size. Here we go. Really should not need to... Uh... Use a hacking part here, either. Just hit shields and hit the missile launcher. That was a very lucky jump, indeed. We're feeling it this run. Take it easy, Chris. Good to see you again. Go. 
Kool-Aid. While the second flagship was not yet finished, it doesn't make the battle any less of a victory. 55562 scrap laser charger mark 2 which sells for 37 I think the the biggest reward there is the fact that we got double fleet pursuit delay in the sector which is giving the most scrap so uh, a big step up This run has just been crazy. I'm like, I'm actually like considering hacking stun because it's like, what else am I going to spend scrap on? Yeah, I can get engines and a weapon value point, but uh, really we're operating at a very nice spot right now. And hacking stun's not bad. I don't know. Hacking stun's not really that good here either. It's too late for scrap recovery arm to pay off, and again, we don't need it because we're already doing great on scrap. I'm just gonna continue buying drone parts because hull repair drone. Let's pop one off here. We haven't used one yet. Let's buy this value weapon now. Yeah, buddy, Mr. Poppy, tune in for a good one. I think this run's going to break 7k score. Uh, I think it's very possible. Like, we're not... Our ship's not fully upgraded right now, and we may not get there, but we did get... We've bought a lot of drone parts and other miscellaneous things that aren't ship upgrades this run. I think that's a fair statement. Maybe not, though. Maybe. I think I'll have a better guess for score when we get a little bit closer. Let's see here. Alright, I got the breach at least. So we're eating one, maybe two missiles. Instead of using a defense drone here, I'm just going to roll evasion and use hull repair drone to make up the difference. It's pretty much impossible here for the defense drone to be worth more than the hull repair drone with the current setup. Yeah, I did skip drone recovery arm here. Uh, the reason I did that is I just wasn't actively using the drones enough, I felt, to justify the purchase. Though, certainly could have done that and maybe even gone for like a triple combat drone or double combat beam. That would have been a viable setup for certain. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good question, Zulpak. So, uh, the uh, breach on the automated ship means that they can no longer automatically repair that system. So, once you achieve a breach on an automated vessel, the auto repair feature is gone. So, like right here, they can't repair the breach, so they can't repair the system. Weapons are permanently down. take the exit on the way out because we're going to loop back around to this one. I'm 
I'm gonna give you guys 15 missiles. Because frankly, I'm scared if somebody lights a match on our ship, something bad's gonna happen. Please take my missiles. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It's so weird that some of the very first ships this run we're running into where hacking O2 doesn't make sense. They really gave me a crazy setup for getting crew kills on this run. Also, six damage will take down the missile launcher. Beautiful. FTL charging A. Okay, well, what if I get a breach here? That would do it. So if I hack here and then I go dual laser, heavy laser, we get a breach in there that does confirm a crew kill, I believe. Yeah, so a good question on the difference between hacking, uh, piloting, and engines. The main difference is if the enemy ship is trying to run away like this one, and you've hacked piloting, the entire time the crew is trying to break down the piloting door, um, they're still charging the FTL. And that's pretty much the only difference. going to roll my evasion versus these missiles. It's only going to be a one damage Lado. Between that and Cloak, the whole repair drone should be just as good as the defense drone. again. So I kind of have to hope that the O2 runs out at a point where he's not standing in the med bay. This is just a silly little risk we're taking. There it is. So he's not going to go med bay now because the O2 ran out, but if he would have been in the med bay when the O2 ran out, it would have been uh, not a crew kill because there's not enough hole left to disable. A very unnecessary risk. But why not? Why not? Stealth weapons is definitely not bad. Stealth weapons, level 3 cloak. I'm not going to buy a stealth weapon. It doesn't have enough functional value. Yeah, 
Yo, Abacha82, thanks for 32 months. Camper at 321, thanks for 105 as well. Cheers. I believe I can get away with O2 hack here. Okay, maybe not. That's a breach missile. Uh, just by hacking here, we'll eventually pull all the O2 out, so I can focus on weapons now if I want. They apparently got the jukes. Yo, Pursued One, thanks for 33 months and that prime continuation. Thank you, dude. <laughs> That's fair, man. We also get a tin hole repair at the end of this sector, so I feel like pressure's off. Okay, that was my fault. So I cloaked um, late last time. I could have had the timing be back on there, but I goofed it. When the pilot dies, I'm going to unleash a volley on their weapons. All right, let's go for a three cloner here just so we heal 25 per jump. What just happened to our Zoltan? Why not? Good old sensor station. Give me that reveal of everything I already knew. Right on, man. All right, this upcoming jump's gonna be a boarding event with no scrap reward because it's an empty sun beacon. Two humans, that ain't too bad. Intervene and defend the outpost. Okay, O2 hack. That's a little rude. Wonder what level O2 hack this actually is. What a good Daisy do. Bring it, bring in Dilly to us. What a good kidder.
level one clone bay, classic mistake. Yo, Schmatty boy, thanks for 39 months. Go for that huge support today. Now Daisy's doing happy paws on her heating blanket. She's real happy. The heat blanket's on. That's nice. Grab this 120 right here. Let's go. All right, eight engines, four shields, seven weapons currently. It's dive time. If I can kill this dive ship, I will. I feel like our score is already quite nice here. Why not make it even nicer? Shield hack is actually the best kill here. Going to split the difference between weapons and shields. Cloaked at like the last possible moment there. Don't hit my weapons, dude. Rude. Don't be rude now. Don't be rude now. Even if this ASB hits, we still get, um, We still get a full heal at the end of the sector, so. Or a 10 heal in this case. We dodge, we dodge rolled it. To the last stain. Sixty one scrap a do. Gotta march our way to the base here on the far side of the sector. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pilot hack here. Not really because I need to, but because it makes it simpler. And I am a sucker for a good simplification. That'll do. <laughs> Noise. Welcome back in, Shockwave. Cheers. Alright, I like the repair station, but I'm just going to take the cleanest route to the base.
Uh, let's just buy value weapon, I guess. All right, one more fight and then a quick stretch break for me. And we'll finish out this run. By golly, they got Vulcan Flak 2. That is uh, a combination of things, sir. Definitely put the highest priority on just not taking uh, damage here. Well, I probably almost certainly could get a crew kill on the <laughs> ship. I'd rather do that. Well, still might get a crew kill. Seems like there's a fire there. Oh yeah, double fire even. Ooh, that's good. That's good. I think they're done, man. Yeah. That is officially a crew kill. I think the O2 will burn out of the shields before they fully go down. So, uh, should definitely still be getting the kill here. O2's been down for most of the fight. I mean, it's possible. Yeah, we're good. Looking good. All right, short break for me, and then we'll finish out this run. Be right back.
All righty, we have returned. Thanks for your patience during that brief one. Do I actually care about a store right now? I mean, I got anti-drone to sell. I guess a second automated reload would be pretty sweet. Dual wield hull repair drones? Okay, maybe not. Okay, let's go here. I'm going to try to get both of these jumps just for fun. And if we do that, I might as well buy these drones out for the ultimate safety measure. I don't feel this ship is too dangerous. Is it O2 hack not dangerous though? If they hit with all three ions, we do take damage here, but I think I can get a crew kill. And we've been so diligent about crew kills in this run, let's just keep it going. Fired all three. I'm going to cloak that then. Buff. I got to wait for the cloak here. Yeah. make it to the door here. Oh yeah, they're done. Deader than dead. Double dead. Oh, I hit him under a cloak. That was awesome. Oh, hey, we're going to intercept here, huh? All right, all right. Cloaking increases evasion by 60%, so if they had level 1 piloting, which is no bonus evasion, while not manned, we had a 40% chance to hit there. Though it's very likely they had at least 2 uh, piloting, which grants 50% um, evasion with no manning. I mean, this is the drill, let's go. O2 hack for weeks. Lighted midair there. Mid space, rather. Uh oh, spaghettios.
They're lining up a pretty big volley here. Oops, all dead. Oops. Oh, so this guy's the smart one. He walked around. Good for him, man. Good for this guy. Goes Henry. Thanks so much for 10 months. Appreciate that prime continuation. Thank you. Okay, let's go ahead and buy doors and sensors here for value points. Let's go ahead and buy. I guess value drone. So I'm definitely tempted to shield hack here, but I also have a decent play with um, getting two volleys before they cloak with the automated reloader. So uh, pilot hacking level three is also pretty desirable. Uh, in addition, it's pretty safe here to, uh, to load up the weapon hack and alternate hacking and cloaking. So that'd be safest, but I think safe is not as important because we have the whole repair drone to stabilize if anything bad happens. So I'm thinking the best bet's probably to hack shields. That gives us the best chance for crew kills overall. And I'd say our weakest phase right now is three because we do not have mind control to counter. Let's see. This is pointing at our hacking, I think. Okay, that's fine. I really only need one good hack here. Yeah, I think the Prime Sub refreshes, like... Like, literally the second from the month you used it last. That's how that works. Okay, well, one down. That's nice. No fire start. It's kind of weird. Oh, didn't quite get him there. Maybe not too late. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got one more. Okay, we're gonna wait for them to jump into us on phase two. Best policy. This gives us the best chance to reset phase three. I'm also just gonna say on this phase, this is just DPS race. And to that note, I believe hacking, piloting looks pretty good here. Let's hack shields. Pretty straight lines. I have any curvature? A little bit.
That was my fault. I didn't send that out in time. Oops, all dead. Oops. Gonna wait till they get in this room in order to uh, start my hit here. Yeah. Oh, you're locked in, bud. Okay, Rock's almost dead. That's fine. I'll clone him. Cloned for a good cause. Not sure if the pilot survived there, but the crew that was manning the right hand most weapon, the laser, is still going to be active for certain. and go level three oxygen here and my reasoning for this is if the lanius becomes mind controlled i can stabilize this room and still have a counter boarding chance phase three has boarding mind control and a 12 power zoltan super shield i believe we've taken care of boarding with all the crew kills we got oh no it is ai interesting that's fine. You can hang out in engines. Oh, hey, let's uh, let's pop off a hull repair drum while we're here. Should have done that before we started the fight. I think we're right on the 7k mark there. I'm going to say like 7,100. I think this one's going to be on our top five scores. We just had so many ship fights. I bet our ship fights are above 60. Maybe above 65 even. I can remember one or two empty jumps that entire run. All right, my guess is 7,200 on the money.
See what we got. 7032 stats. Yeah, there you have it. 60 ship, six ships defeated. Most piloted evasions. Because we spent so much time doing the O2 kill stuff. <laughs> 209 evasions is crazy. All right, let's load in the uh, spreadsheet here with a green pip. For number 45. All right, let's go to the hangar. Let's roll two more ships here. We're going to roll two, pick one. If we roll into a ship we have not taken yet, we must play it. That was my first run of NGC on this series. Slug C, NGB. Well, I'm going to choose Slug C. Uh, for sure. We got to win on both these, but uh, Slug C is the more interesting of the two. Hey, you're all good, uh, Rolo's dad. No worries. Now you know. I have a very little mercy for the uh, 69 memes because <laughs> I think I think as a person you have to decide what age that goes from being funny to being not cool. And I think that age for me is about 30 and I'm 37 and a parent. So uh, not to mention our no sexual comment rule. That's a tough one for sure because I know people aren't ill intentioned when they say it, but uh, got to lead by example and whatnot. 30 is the age for me where that's not, uh, not really cool anymore. I understand it's not malicious. All right, feel free to write your name suggestions for this, uh, 46 vessel. I'm going to add, uh, the Slug C to our R100 spreadsheet. Got a nice little string of green going here. Some good, some good ones here. Boy, howdy. Let's see if this fits. The slimy candy. Yum. Yum. All right, let's grab some names for our crew here off the forever name and game list. I'm going to use Delbach here. Mad God Rando, the one. And Sacro. Alright, so Slug C is interesting. It does have Slug Repair Joe Cell. The main detriment to the Slug C is that it has a very slow weapon in Chain Laser. But it does start with hacking and mind control, which are two major pieces to winning runs. Uh, also, mind control in the early game does provide quite a bit of opportunities for crew kills. Um, so we'll see what happens. Another somewhat weakness, it does start with kind of low amount of parts for what you have. Uh, very often in the early game on the ship, you end up hacking weapons just so you can fire your weapon before they fire. Let me update my title here too. Uh, yeah, that does happen when you're on the ship. You get a fourth crew, and then they are the only crew able to be mind-controlled. That does happen. All right, early store, I'd really prefer... Really prefer here to... have a little bit of scrap before I visit. Investigate. Okay, awesome. Awesome. This ship's going to be no exception here. 
Okay, I'm going to mind control the uh, engineer. Why would he do that, sirs? I wanted him to fight in this room. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to disjoint their weapons after this fires. Then we start our hack to make sure the mini beam does not hit. That's tough. I should have waited on my mind control is the lesson there. This is still okay, though. Yeah, let's just mind control here. There we go. And let's let him through. Right now, not concerned about their weapon timing lining up. I can save my hack until that becomes a problem. There's one down. So I need to hit here to start the repair happening and then mind control. There we go. We got the normal reward for all that work. It was still worth it, though. Uh, favorite starting weapon's a tough one. I think dual laser is solid. Mini beam's also 3S tier. Well, we sell slug repair gel here. There's nothing to buy, but it gets us much closer to buying our two shield bubble, which I think is a pretty important upgrade. All right, we're absolutely hacking weapons here. Then after we hack weapons, we're going to mind control this guy because he can probably get one of these down, giving us a, at least a chance to disable the burst laser too. Okay, that's good. Good timing there. I'm waiting for an asteroid to hit here. Darn. Okay, fortunate timing again. Alright, we're gonna mind control the Mantis. To break the repair. That's good. There's not going to be a crew kill here just because of how this is laid out. Chain laser does get faster and faster the more it fires. That's actually a pretty competent offer. Refuel seven missiles, eight scrap. I'm going to take that. I don't have a missile yet, but if I get the missile cell event, that's definitely valuable. Sensor station. See where their hack lands. Alright, so I'm gonna hack their weapons. This is the process. Okay, this might be a two damage missile. Yikes. No, it's a one damage missile. Okay, I gotta get that fixed up. Okay, that's not good. Please don't hit weapons. They're doing the slow play to take out my O2 all the way. Okay, we're feeling better now.
We're gonna start a hack right away here. Mm, we surviving? Wow. That was pretty rude. Vicious, even. Yo, Frozen Fire. Sorry, missing earlier. Thanks for 49 months. One more for that 5-0. Oh, map reveal. Awesome. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Looks pretty good. Nearby sun, asteroid field. All right, no store showing. We're definitely just picking up two shields here. I'll let my O2 get to 100 as well before I jump, because reasons. All right, we're at 100 now. West marker added to the map. Okay, so this overtook what would have been a fight, but this was a sun beacon, so I think that's actually very beneficial. Might even get a reward here. I feel like using a hacking part here is a bit of a waste, though I could take damage on this fight. Never mind, not anymore. Leave some damage for me, Asteroid Field. Come on now. Okay, the Asteroid Field let me feel included in that event. Thanks, bud. Hope you've been well, Rogue Mike. Okay, double Mantis. Double Mantis does assign quite well for a crew kill. I think most important here, though, is to get the weapons disabled. Then we can worry about crew kill stuff. This looks like a two damage missile. Never mind, it's not. Okay, it's a good enough time to mind control. Okay, missile launcher went down too. Beautiful. Is there fire in there? Must be. Huh. Okay, that's a little tricky. I don't think I'm getting the crew kill anymore, but maybe. Depends on how the fire is spread. I think if there's fire in the shield room now, this might do it. No, not quite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can't believe we eked out the crew kill on that one. That was cool. That was cool. Just letting O2 stabilize again. Uh, 
Uh, destroy and loot the ship. They're just pirates. I tell myself to sleep at night. Ooh, we got wares here as well. All right. Uh, let's see. Backup batteries never bad. Uh, basically, Duskism, the uh, getting the crew kill opens up a further loot table. So you have more options for things you can get. It's not technically better or worse, but uh, more options means a chance at crew, weapon, uh, drone, etc. On average, it's better. Hey, Fedora Sor, thanks for that raid. Hope you had a nice stream today. Cheers. You remember that uh, seven missile offer we took earlier in Sector 1? This is why. Booyah. I'm going pirate controlled here. Okay, we definitely want to find weapons here. Let's just start taking jumps, leaving ourselves the highest potential. Wow, this doesn't connect down. One way to look at this map is that these four jumps don't exist without wasting a jump. So now I'm second guessing my pathing and thinking that, oh, this is also a dead end. Holy guacamole. I think I need to take these jumps. Like, I'm basically going to get everything that's sitting here and nothing more. This doesn't even connect up. Okay, yeah, we're going here. This is a very awkward sector. All right, we're going to reject the offer here. What kind of crew do they have? All right, this ship has two shields, which usually only happens in special events on, uh... So I think we're going to be offered something at the end of this fight. Luckily, we're safe with two shields, so we hack shields ourselves. You know, before I actually begin damaging, I'm going to get my chain laser loaded up to three. Yeah, very odd pathing this sector, no nonsense, no doubt. I'm glad we recognize the situation before diving uh, headfirst in. Oh, I got both shields down that way. Awesome. I didn't actually know that timing was going to be possible with the, uh, the chain laser. That's sweet. There might be some sort of fandangled crew kill here. Probably not, though. What if I hit O2 and then I mind control the unit in O2? No, that doesn't do it. Fair enough. Uh, that's a really weak offer. Okay, not bad. I wonder why that ship was two shields here in Sector 2. Maybe just the pirate special. Okay, it's going to mind control the pilot hit weapons. These ships having med bay... Ooh, 
Okay, I made a mistake here. Ooh, good miss. If the ion hit, then the asteroid hit. We definitely could have taken damage here. That's good. Turn our O2 back on, I guess. Well, that's not bad, but no. I got a hundred and five scrap on hand right now. I right. how many jumps to the exit? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, it's gonna be hard to pull off. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So this is four and a half. So we'll go one. That's four and a half right there. So we're gonna barely make this. I think we're actually getting maximum value out of this sector by a very thin margin here. I should wait to this jump in order to decide if I'm upgrading or not. Buying a weapon would be way more valuable than any other ship upgrade at the moment. Five? Excuse me? Five? Crew? That is devastating. Holy guacamole, man. I mean, early game, that is... <laughs> that is very mean, is what it is. Just fan the air around a little bit. There we go. Intruders on board. Well, if we can deal with uh, five borders, we're going to be fine here. Lanius borders not possible there, but if it was Lanius borders, we'd probably be dead. Is the answer. Yes, Slug C starts level 2 doors, correct. That is a feature of the ship. Alright, there is a store here, thank goodness. Come 
Come on, weapon. I mean, very technically, yes, that is a weapon. True. True. Charge Ion's not inadequate here as a weapon. It's just also not very good. Darn. Feeling like I might need to buy Charge Ion. How much to bring it online after that? 60? My thought here is on a two shield ship, if I have charge ion, I can charge it up to three, I can hack piloting, I can hit with all three ions, and then hit twice with the chain laser. So, uh, this does extend our weapon system, but what this is really going to be, more or less, is wasting 25 scrap when we drop it later. That's just where we're at. Okay, 29 scrap Zoltan. This is over half off of Zoltan and is essentially the same as buying a power bar right now. I'm in. Buying crew in Sector 2 almost never, but sure makes sense right here. It's Skezla. We're going to miss a jump here. There's no way around it. We still did the best with the sector we had available. That much I'm sure of. Pulsar. Okay. Combat drone Pulsar 2. Okay, the drone is much more dangerous here than the, uh, the laser. Let's hack weapons and then fire at the drone. Or maybe I hack drones here. Yeah, let's do that. I'm essentially conceding taking some damage. Okay, my chain laser went down. That's tough. I very well may just run from this fight. Oh, the drone came back on. Darn. This is tough. I'm hoping they have a bad uh, pulsar now. Okay, their drone went down. That's good. Okay, I at least hit. So the drone's no longer active. Tough weapon set to have this set up. Ryze is going to finish the repair. I'm going to mind control him. somewhat stabilized here. Okay, weapons didn't go down. That's good.
Okay, weapons didn't go down again. Lovely. Seven missiles, one drone part, nine scrap. I don't know. That seven missiles paid off big last time, but nine scrap's kind of weak. I think I'm still going to take this, though. Eh. Got to survive through at least one more pulsar, so I could definitely imagine this coming back online and just being annoying. I'm going to accept this offer. I'm not super stoked on it, but I want this fight to be over. The ship is so brutal with Pulsar on that chain. Chain laser taking so long to charge after it goes offline. Okay. Next. Oh, we're attacking the pirate here, man. You kids in? All right, there's definitely a crew kill for me here with an O2 hack because the Manus is the designated repairer at the moment. And they can't damage us. Okay, it's only level one as well. Awesome. Oof, we landed on the stun guy, too. That was rude. <laughs> Shooting at the Phantom Man is there. Just picking up where he left off. Nothing wrong with that. Manus take 15 full seconds to repair, and it's also taking longer because of the hacking. Like, a very impossible situation for the Manus. And we let him out of the room, and then we lock him. Fair enough. Really? They're going to the med bay there? Huh. Okay, now they're going to other systems. Cool. A bit late. We're going to destroy the ship and salvage it because the uh, fleet pursuit delay here does nothing for us. Okay, I have enough to get the charge ion online, but I want to see if the start of the next sector has a store. Your specialty. Reactor for 20. I think we're on 20 upgrades right now. Let's see, we got three, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, our next upgrade is 20 anyways. That's not a... Not even a discount. Not even not even five percent. Okay, store. Here's some weapons.
Well, I really like Heavy Laser too, but I think the Charged Laser, well, one is cheaper and I think easier to bring online here. I think the question for me now is, should I sell the Charge Ion to get the Charge Laser online faster? I think the answer to that is yes. We're pretty close, in fact. Just uh, 12 scrap away. All right. I can deal. Basically one ship reward here away from having that. Okay, we're going to head up this way first, and then down, and then over and up. gonna even not buy fuel here to try to get that weapon online faster getting the second weapon online is very important because we're going to be running into uh two shield ships all right we'll never surrender our crew to schlabbers except that one time and the other time we're not going to talk about ah this ship's kind of a yikes So I, in order to hit this ship, I have to hack um, drones. Which is a sneaky hack to get. Gotta be charge laser. Sorry, chain laser here, though. Okay, this is gonna be tough. Oh, a nice shot, man. Better. Oh, man. Okay, we might just be running from this one. Is the truth. Good dodge. Yeah, all right. I am not hanging around in this fight anymore. Give us one chance here. It's like I finally get to fire my weapons here, maybe. Okay, so we're gonna hack. We're going to mind control, and I think I need to shoot at shields here if I have any chance of taking the ship down. And they also have a value shield. Okay, I'm leaving for sure. I'm going to leave as they fire this next one out, though. Give myself some time. Really rude ship. Let's let the O2 stabilize and we'll jump. Uh, we were unable to damage that ship without hacking drones. Firework. Two, two lasers versus defense two isn't going to cut it.
One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not convinced this is actually past the line here. So we either got to go four, five, six, or one, two, three, four, five, six. I like this route better. Let's go over here. Intervene and defend the outpost. Yeah, do that. Okay, using charge laser here would have been much better because I could have got one shot out. But now that we've fired out here, it's not better anymore. Unless. Miss. <laughs> oh, snap. It's not down yet. Cloak's happening, I think. Yeah. Okay. It looks like this repair is going to finish. After this next volley, I'm going to hold. I'm going to hold my lasers for when the repair happens. Ah, maybe not here. I take it back. We're waffling. Okay. Nice double reward here. Oh, also a store. What am I going to buy at this store right now that's not upgrading my weapons? I guess upgrading weapons and buying a small repair is what we need to do. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. Investigate. You want to join my crew, dude? Charlie the Weapon Trained Rock. Awesome. Get Charlie a name here. Oh, it's tastefully named. That's a good one. All right. The what's here is not all that important. We're going to get weapon power now. Okay, and then we're going to buy a repair. Let's go to 21 and buy three fuel. Okay, at the very least, we can now power both weapons. This is not a very strong setup for Sector 3, but it's um, operating. Okay, Outpost is huge here. Couple double rewards is exactly the kind of thing we need to Stabilize on scrap this run. Shield fire? No, just shield hit. Hmm. I was debating O2 hack. I think it's a little bit too much here, though. Maybe if I can get a double fire started.
That's fair, man. God, that's fair. Both pretty S tier breakfast foods, though. Ooh, lay. That's exactly what we need to have happen here. Remember when we took those missiles earlier? We sell 15 for 45. So, so far, we've sold 25 missiles for 70 scrap this run. 75 scrap even. Them's the goods. Alright, I'm gonna buy two hacking, two power bar. Alright, ship can't damage us, that's cool. Sun can, though. on fire. We have all the way until the next solar flare goes off, so we might as well take this repair. Alright, 26 scrap, another nice reward. No, we really hit pay dirt on the back end of the sector, and I'm thankful, because it was feeling like it was going to be a rather cursed run, and now we're not looking great, but we're not looking terrible either. I'd say we're within... We're on, like, the low end of a normalized range. Wow. Probably take four gems before a store and then head over. Uh, lots of room to breathe uh, here. I'd normally like to buy level 202 here in the slug sector, but we're not, uh, we're just not there yet. One, two, three, store. All right, this one's interesting, like... Number four gives us a weapon offer for 45 scrap. But skips the fight. I don't think I want to be skipping any fights here. Let's attack the ship. The amount of ions they have here is dangerous. And they have three shields. Dang, dude. If we disable any of the weapons, we're safe. I think is a, a, a good note. Okay. Dodging one there is huge. Should have let that through. Okay, well... I'm gonna go a weapon hack here. I think it's the only way I'm semi-safe. Okay, it missed, so... Fair. Gonna let this fire. Gonna let this ion through my shields. but I got my shields back up. 
three ion damage on the hacking. Okay. Yeah, this is the situation I was worried about. All right, now we can hack, though. This is where all that shield toggling we just did pays off. Okay, good. Once the Sultan's in there, I'm going to mind control him. And then the slug will come down and try to fight him as well. We can maybe get a crew kill here. Maybe I should hit shields first, actually. No, I think this is all right. This will pull the pilot off, so... Should be I. Also gets him in the same room. I smell a crew kill. Albeit a slow one. Yeah, unfortunately, Frozen Fire, mind controlling the engine unit does not actually um, do anything. They just stand there punching the engines and no, uh, nobody come over to help. Slow them in. If you mind control the pilot, somebody will come defend. And the big way to get defense happening is mind controlling a unit that's repairing a room. That's how you cause the most damage with mind control. Because when a mind controlled unit starts attacking an already damaged room, everybody rushes to defend. All right, 35 scrap, not bad. Okay, I can actually go one, two, three here and still make the store. I think I'm going to do that. No life signs detected. All right. Oh, we're not getting 7k score on this run, I'll tell you what. Scan for survivors, Mr. Slugmans. Assist the survivor. Loan them before it's too late. Crimity, the fighting engineer. What's up, dude? Get you a name change here, Crimity. Gonna be a glacier. Oh. Okay, we can go one, two, three, four, and still make this one. Yep. Okay. Huh? Oh, this is a, a junker. Might as well wait to the next door to make any decisions whatsoever. I could justify fuel here, but what if that stops us from getting cloaking? Just buy fuel at this store. I don't know. Fuel does seem all right. Let's buy two fuel as a compromise. I gotta stay hidden here. Uh, double fleet pursuit locks me out of this store. I think it's too important. 
It's only a coin flip for a fight, and I have scrap to spend right now. Attack. Whoa. Whoa. You considered not doing that? People would like you more. I certainly would. Shield hack is the best chance to disable the weapon system fully, but then we have to eat the first volley. I think, though, if we're going to have an okay fight here with this cloaking ship, I do need to do exactly that. Okay, it's a two damage missile as well. I think we made the right choice. Not weapons. Oh, Lord. Okay, missile launcher is down. That's big. Also, Manus is repairing the weapon, which is also big. So this gives me a counter mind control option. Only Manus remain. We're getting a crew kill here. Oh, fire in there. That's good. That's been a very challenging run, uh, Kypress. You're not wrong. Extremely. Okay, they don't have enough health to stop the fire from spreading. So one of two things happens in this situation. One, the fire spreads throughout the ship when we get the kill. Or two, the fire is contained inside of the weapons room. The oxygen fully depletes and then the fires go out. Then they go back into the room. In the event the fire spreads, we get the kill. In the event that the fire extinguishes, we still get the kill. So we wait for the manus to do one repair on weapons and then mind control them to draw the other manus over. Could also, I guess, potentially just do this. That'd be the much faster and sure way to do it. Array for efficiency. All right. Okay. Okay. This is feasible. I think the answer here is Halberd Beam, because if we level two hack shields, Halberd Beam is uh, pretty slamming. Is this Sector 3 or Sector 4? This is Sector 4. Dang. We are scraping right now. All right, we're going to buy Halberd Beam because it future proofs my run. We're going to buy... Uh, Well, I am semi-tempted to sell the Chain Burst Laser and just keep a uh, Halberd Charge at the moment. Because, like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a Weapon Power and I'm going to use two of these three weapons, Halberd, neither the Charge or the Chain. And I think the ch Laser Charger makes more sense. <laughs> you guys are pipe dreaming. There's no way Scrap Recovery Arm gets bought here. Zero percent chance on this run. We'd have to get 550 more scrap to have that start paying off. And we're probably about 150 scrap behind where we'd like to be already. Keep dreaming, though. Keep dreaming. Dream big. I think I am going to sell the chain laser. Because I'm not going to be able to use it for at least a sector and a half. Okay, now we're going to buy a power bar as well, so I can barely power this halberd and set up. Well, I guess maybe I don't need a power bar yet. I don't need a power bar yet. What I do need is three fuel and a minor repair, and then we're saving for three shields. Uh... 
Okay, one, two, three, four, exit. Yo, Aswell Thorn, thank you so much for 32 months. 3 2. All right. Time for a uh, shield hack, Albert Beam. If I do two damage to weapons, we're safe here. Oh, man, that's brutal, dude. Okay, here's where the charge laser is going to come in handy. Our hack's not lasting now. This run is just being exceptionally rude. Both hit, that's nice. Halber Beam came just in time here. Okay. I think this is a fight we could reasonably justify a weapon hack instead of a shield hack. We have the uh, two charged lasers with mind control. So getting getting a double hit is not, not bad. Hitting one of two is extremely likely. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say that's justified. Also looks like a two damage missile here. That's a yoink. Nice. Big money hit. Ah, uh, no thanks. I need a lot more scrap than that. Really nothing for me to buy at the store right now. I need I need direct ship upgrades pretty badly. Let's just move along. I'm also not interested in diving with this setup. Uh, PC humans did what's called a hacking toggle. We depowered it as the drone fired to stutter step it. Okay, should get the O2 kill here. I think I need to shield hack on this one, though. Yeah, if I don't shield hack, we're going to end up potentially uh, taking a lot of damage. Okay, I'm going to shred across here.
we're getting a crew kill here for sure. Additionally, if the uh, anti-drone hits your hacking with the ion, it's only a 50% chance to destroy it, so it's not a... Uh... Not a guaranteed shoot down there the way the defense or defense 2 is. Though the uh, hacking toggle can also be used in those situations. Now we wait. Oh, here I can do this. I'm gonna fire one. Oh, he just trained. I was like, I'm gonna train weapons here, and then he's fully trained already. Cool. Way to go, bud. Daisy, dude, there's no reason to be looking at your dad like that. What a kidders. Ooh, small bomb is actually massive here. What a find. What a find. Slug home nebula rebel controlled. I think I'm going rebel controlled. Uh, the halber beam is highly effective versus rebel ships. And while this does lock us out of maybe two stores and this green bean up top, I think it's the right choice. All right, before we go any further here, I need to eat something. Also going to stand up stretch real quick, use the restroom, grab some water, encourage you to do all those same things. Also, I'm going to throw this kitter cam on here because there is a kitter waiting for something. It's two hours early, but I guess we're going to start your reign of tyranny today, Daisy. Yeah. Surely, feeding your treats two hours early will have no consequences on later days. Surely not. Be back in just a couple minutes for the continuation of this very difficult slug sea run.
Alrighty, have returned. Thanks for your patience during that brief one. Let's head back into this run. We are scraping along on this run here. So I think we have picked up the appropriate stuff to maybe survive. Also, as weird as it is to not be saving for three shields right now, I think with this hacking, I need to grab this small bomb upgrade. Maybe I can get away with three shields before the small bomb. I'm just thinking, like, versus a really bad ship, the small bomb lets us disable more weapons. Yeah, I need this small bomb online right now. All right, so our immediate goal here is to buy two power bars and then get three shields. If I can get that happening relatively early in this sector, we're kind of stable. And if not, we're probably dead. I'm gonna do my best, but I, I simply don't have my hopes up for this run. Though we have hit a major threshold of being able to kill ships, so, you know, anything's possible here. Doors for 38. Hmm. Maybe not. A 
All right, enemy FTL charging. Uh, oh, please dodge some of these. Okay, also, what do I need to do here to survive? I need to hack uh, piloting here. Suppose I could also hack weapons to try to stop the second volley from going off. How about before we decide where we're hacking, we see if we don't get crushed by this volley. Okay, they hit weapons and they hit shielding. Okay, here we go. Shields got back online, good. Okay, hacking went down. Oh, that double hits big. Okay, okay. We're gonna be able to kill this ship. There's fire and battery, let's start venting that. That could have ended our run, but it didn't. I'm just going to buy the power bar now. I know I need it. And yeah, had I not bought the weapon power there, that ship was getting away. Or killing us on the way out. Okay. Uh, we need to be stopping that. into an O2 issue here. Let's just move him out of the room. Okay, I just need one of these two lasers to hit here. Yeah, that's good. Okay, if both lasers hit, we got a uh, victory here. Made the right call abandoning our uh, piloting room there. Let our O2 hit 100 before we jump. Also is going to buy the power bar now. We're kind of uh, hand over fist upgrading here.
Okay, there's a breach somewhere. Let's figure out what that is. Raleigh and battery, huh? No? What? Oh, it's just going up real slow because this room was the one that didn't have O2. Got it. Intruders on boat. <laughs> No question here. We're going to be doing a weapon attack. Okay, I own intruder drone. Is tricky. That's a really awesome spot for that to land. with this. Okay, it missed. Four fuel, four missiles, 18 scrap. Well, I don't mind the four fuel here, but I think we can get a higher scrap reward for not accepting a surrender. And I also feel we've uh, taking care of the main threat here. Yeah, three fuel, 26 scrap, even better. <laughs> I'm dreaming, dreaming about diving here. I don't know about that. Let's see, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six before the exit. Let's just go over here. We got, we got enough room to maneuver and do anything with that. Okay, I need to be careful about my O2. Okay, let's attack the ship to get to the sensor station. Well, hacking weapons is what I want to do, but then I have to have two small bombs land, or one small bomb and both lasers hitting, which doesn't feel very guaranteed. Whereas shield hack... We're probably good, unless the... Uh, the two damage missile. Okay, if it is a two damage missile, I want the charge laser in front here to absorb the full thing, so I keep the small bomb online. And with that, we're going with the shield hack because it's the guaranteed disable of the system, and that's what I need right now. Okay, it is a two damage missile, and my hacking got hit. Yikes. Please hit. Thank you. Okay, almost was very fortunate. Good dodge. Okay, feeling better already. I got fire in some kind of empty room here. Let's figure out where that is. I didn't see where it got clipped. There it is. Gonna vent this out. Fire indoors, got it. We're on it. Okay, we just got a map reveal. That's pretty huge. 
I do have a store to look forward to here. Okay. Okay, Pulsar's a huge no right now. <laughs> Let's not. Okay, how many jumps to this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. Also, let's go one, two, three. Well, not quite. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. I'm going to take this route here. And yeah, I am going to commit to diving here. I think we got to take a pretty aggressive risk to get like an extra hundred scrap to the sector. Because if we don't get it, then, well, we're done. Okay, enemy FTL charging. That's all right. With a shield hack here, we have a pretty sure thing as far as disabling their system. A fortunate layout for us. Uh, Slugsy starts with mind control and hacking. No exclusive weapon or anything. Yo, what's up, Zemu, the uh, engine-trained human? Well, you can hang out um, near the hacking room, I guess. I'll hang out in battery. I could even cut to the store early if I needed to. An idea. Also, what about this right here? I could also go one, two, three, four and still make the exit. I'm kind of wondering right now, how do I deal with the dive? Not well. I guess by the time we have this, we're going to have three shields, three engines, and maybe three hacking too, so... Yeah, I got to go for the extra fights here. Good luck to me. Nine hole in a dream. Okay, cloaking and missile launcher is a jerk move. I'm going to hack weapons when this cloak breaks. do this here. Okay, missile launchers down and they're dead. I don't know, maybe I'm not going to dive here. <laughs> we'll see how these fights go. I think in taking four fights is a little scary here. 
All right, so my options remaining now is to go one, two, th or sorry, one, two, exit, or I can go one, two, three, four, store. One, two, three, four, store sounds better. Let's buy three shields right now. I'm just going to say this store is going to be used almost exclusively just to repair at. I'm willing to buy the upgrade now and buy some power bars and have low scrap at the store, even if that means that we're not getting, uh... Not getting what we want ourselves. Okay, well, a couple of trains of thought here. Um, what's going to be the way to minimize damage? We're blocking three of four projectiles, but there's a beam drone behind it. So I can hack piloting here and then small bomb the weapons to make it safe after the first volley. That sounds pretty good. I can hack weapons and spam out small bomb. I think hacking weapons is uh, spamming out small bomb sounds best because then I could possibly take no damage at all. Wait for our full complement here. Okay, that went good. Oh, wow, that system repair dropping was really fortunate. Six fuel, one drone part, 21 scrap. You know what? That's a pretty good offer. I accept. Definitely need a power bar. Good old one engine. Yeehaw. Okay, no cloaking here is good. Okay, I think pilot hack, small bomb to weapons is the safe maneuver here. Yeah, this will make the fight take longer, but it makes it safer faster. And safety has to be our goal right now. Okay, actually, this wouldn't be a bad time to grab shield training. I think I will. We're running at a, a very uh, awkward minimum, so...
Okay. Oh, snap. Can't be getting hit by that. Now we're just going to grab the rest of the shield training before we kill off the ship. Additional 10% faster charging of this bar, which very much could save our life here. Two more volleys. Scraps, awesome. I'll give you three fuel. Pegasus missile, all right, that sells well. All right, enemy FTL charging, combat two missile launcher. This is a very dangerous ship. Alright, well, there's no getting around it. We need to shield hack here. It's going to be a difficult hack to land. Just looking at the angle here. Okay, we got decent um, angles on this to to toggle here. I think that was really fortunate. The drones were where they were at at the start of this one. Yo-ho, Rabbit Salagag, thank you so much for the $53.77 donation. Appreciate that huge generosity. Thanks so much, Rabbit. Glad you're enjoying enough to even consider the real Oha. Thanks for 12 months as well. Appreciate that year. Thank you kindly for all the things you all do to make this content full-time and sustainable. Couldn't do it without you. True. Okay. Now we gotta make some choices. Yeah, let's just say Pegasus missile's out right now. So you see flak here, you think, ooh, that'd be nice. But I can't really afford flak right now. I can afford a repair and maybe an engine power, which I think is what I'm going to go for. Truthfully, this flak does not improve our system that much at the moment. Would be nice uh, to load into the weapons, but we can actually win with Halber Beam, Laser Charger, Small Bomb. I want one more weapon, but I can't get it right now. Now, if this uh, small bomb was maybe a heavy laser, then the flak is a little more value because then I have something direct to upgrade into. You know, I guess there is an argument for buying the flak here. I don't know if it's good, though. Is it better than getting uh, just a ship upgrade right now? Probably not. Yep, that's the one. The Brixie, that's the one. We're almost to the top of the list. We'll be back at the bottom here in a moment. Yeah, running out of bombs is definitely a, a valid concern here. Four-wheel gator, for sure. Let's go ahead and repair here and see where that puts us. I want to get it to 20, probably.
Five projectiles halberd beam would be much more future proofed than uh yeah, but if I don't have three engines for this dive, I mean pretty bad. Oh, man, that's tough. You know, it's seven parts. I think I do need to buy flak here. How much for one more weapon power in this type of situation? 90. All right. So a couple reasons I think flak can, should be purchased here is one, if I don't buy flak, we're looking at needing to buy three hacking. And that's tough because it's basically the same cost as flak. And also if we don't buy flak we can run out of missiles also if we don't buy flak uh yeah it's just there's a lot of reasons to buy it here the next very legitimate question is do i sell the small bomb in order to try to improve the system. I think the answer is no. I think we're just diving here in Sector 5 with two engines, which is brutal. Probably eating two ASBs. But most certainly, this, uh... This little step up to this store was worth it. Okay. Seems like weapon hacks the most desirable here. We'll try to mind control Halberd. I was super convinced when I got to that store I was not going to be buying that flak, but I really talked myself into it. Nice, that's really huge. Okay, both the missile launchers stayed up? That's a bit rude. That's a bit rude. ASB missed, huge. got hit, but we're alright. Okay. We're making it out of here. That was not so bad. Abandoned sector or rock controlled? I actually think abandoned sector is the one we want. Bandit Sector has a lot of very high scrap, gives us a green option, and rocks usually have more cloaking going on than the Abandoned Sector. Lanius Bomber is definitely scary. We have a lot of crew to deal with it. Yo, Theodore Argesh, thanks for that $30 donation as well. Huge day for donations. Thank you so much for that generosity, everybody. Uh, Theodore, uh, kind message included. Last few weeks, these streams have become more and more important to me. Thank you so much for everything you do to provide a tranquil space to enjoy games. You totally rock. You rock as well, Theodore. Thanks for being an awesome part of this channel and community. Appreciate you. I am straight up surprised that we're alive right now.
and you are also added to the forever name and game list. Who lad? Do, 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 do. I think I need to try not hacking here. Yeah, thanks, Murph. Uh, Discord's the best place to uh, reach Sahega. Both me and my wife don't accept private messages on any platform. Discord is definitely a great place for uh, questions. Okay, yeah, I gotta try to not use a hacking part here, which is painful, but true. Whoa! It's very likely that we're gonna be all right here. Yo, Zelensky, thanks for 115 months. You officially on your break, dude? Awesome. Great stuff. Okay, that hits, so we're going to be fine here. Oh, yeah, we're good. Yeah, Zelensky, it's been a really sketchy run. Super sketchy. Four fuel, eight missiles, 20. It's not enough scrap, man. I need scrap. Lots of it. All right, 38. That's better. What should I be buying next? Probably getting this weapon power online, but small bombs essentially achieving the same function as charge laser. So that doesn't make it a very desirable upgrade. Maybe just three engines. Three engines, level two backup battery. That sounds like a good 80 scrap. All right, Lanius Bomber. We got Mind Control and Lanius Boarding. A very difficult scenario. Uh, I got a counter Mind Control here, I think. Well, actually, hold on. Let's see where they board at. Okay, that's not good. Eating at least one flak two here. Okay. That's right, this went down. Mmm. I guess under like an ideal scenario here, I don't necessarily have to hack.
Okay, he's moving over. Very interesting that he's moving there. Okay, I'm gonna mind control their pilot now. Okay, that's good. Loading our clone bay up, and I'm gonna kind of throw uh, wave after wave of crew at these Lanius that are boarding me. Okay, he left the weapons room. Awesome. That is excellent. Where's he going now? O2, fair. Oh, I lost track of the, um... Sorry, I lost track of the cloaking timer for them. Just do this here. Wow. Yeah, that went a lot better than it could have. Grab three engine level two backup battery at my next upgrade opportunity. I agree that level two oxygen seems really nice here, but I don't think that's an option for us. That's uh, something we want, some, not something we need directly. Being down to five parts makes me want to upgrade into weapons. This way I can have more projectiles for the halberd beam. I think this has to wait though. Okay, let's take one more jump here. Okay, O2 is stable. Okay, this one has mind control, but does not have cloaking. So this seems a lot more reasonable. Okay, it's going to be a very similar situation. Though, with the boarding. Okay, they have triple missiles here, which is actually kind of nice because they're going to run out of effective offense pretty fast. I kind of think I should be 
hacking weapons here, but maybe I can get away without it. Let's see where they board at. Uh, tough. Interesting. I miss, that's bad. That's really good. Let's start here. Okay, big missile launcher went down. Perfect. You receive an image of their captain silhouetted by the destruction aboard their ship. It bows for the metallic appendages about his body doing the same. It appears to be requesting mercy. Six fuel, one drone part, 19 scrap. I think I'm taking this offer. Hey, welcome back, Dr. Kane. Congrats on your step up. Well, one nice thing about accepting surrender here is that they'll teleport back to the ship and I'll have to deal with the borders. On the flip side, I probably get more scrap for killing this ship, and they're pretty messed up right now. Tough choice. I need more than 19 scrap from this event. That's the bottom line. Oh, my O2's not on? Yikes. No big deal, they're just pulling O2 from the entire ship. No bigs. Okay, nobody's on piloting. This is probably the kill. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, 53 is a lot better than 19. I need these projectiles because I can't be using a hacking part on every ship now. That's just how it is. Okay, three engines and then level two backup battery is the next in line, I think. How many jumps to the exit? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four... One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or something like that. Well, I kind of like taking this back route. We've already seen this connection, so let's take this here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exit, possible dive. Yeah, 
I don't know about that. Uh, maybe I should hack here, but... Tough one. eating at least one missile here. Actually, we're eating exactly one missile here. Four damage breach missile to the O2. All right, then. Four fuel, five missiles, 24 scrap. Nope. I need scrap. 45 is a good amount. Okay, three engine. It's time for these two crew to enter the clone zone. Two remains. Now we're getting level two backup battery next, I think. Maybe not yet. It might actually be time to save for the weapon upgrade or save for cloaking. Cloaking would be transformative for our chances of winning. Oh my god, here we go again. All right, so it looks like burst laser two or maybe three. Plus flak, so we'd be eating some projectiles here if we take this one. I think I should maybe leave this one alone. No mind control, though. All right, I got to go for this. Maybe painful, but if I don't, we have issue. Oh, this is a small laser. Okay, I thought that was going to be burst laser three, and that was my main concern. Seeing that's not makes me happy. Also going to uh, mind control these guys. Fight each other, please. Okay, weapon hack. Interesting. I mean, I'm going to take this because I can sell the Burst Laser Mark 1. But at the moment, what's interesting about this is I also have the option of doing this setup right now. Which is 7 projectiles plus small bomb on a much faster timer than Halberd. Could definitely be a little more efficient than what we have going on at the moment. Not quite in range to buy cloaking here. Okay, hey, what if I went, uh... 
Okay, one, two, three, four, five before the exit. So six before this one. What if I went one, two, three, four, five, six? I think taking three jumps before this door and the offhand chance I can pick up cloaking has to be it. And I do think that seven projectiles uh, is a little bit better than Halberd Beam right now in terms of our chance to disable a single system. Also, we've fought all three of the Lanius bombers that live in this sector. I don't think there's any more Lanius bomber events even possible. So uh, the other ships we're going to face should be a little easier to manage. And this projectile setup is strong. It's especially strong while we have missiles uh, going. Though we're certainly going to swap back to the halberd beam here in a moment. Yeah, if it's the it's between uh, having the halberd beam or ha having cloaking, I'll absolutely sell the halberd beam. I agree, four wheel. I agree. But I'm going to take this route. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom, exit. Gotta have it. Examine the station. Search. Well, hold on. Okay, we're going to scrap the machinery. Scrap is more important than additional crew. I almost like auto-clicked on that uh, event text. Okay, that is a lot of fuel for 19 scrap, but it puts us in range to buy cloaking if we sell halberds, so I'm doing it. Okay. On one fight here, one fight. Okay, that's not the fight I was hoping for. How many health does the humans have? Here we go. The suspect. Okay, no. No cloaking here. I'm going to buy some fuel. So uh, at the next store, if cloaking exists and this is not a fight, I'm going to sell burst laser one and small bomb to buy cloaking. But right now I'm going to get up to five fuel, which is enough to get out of the sector. One, two, three, four, five to jump in the next sector. Hopefully there's just scrap here that makes our life simple. And then also, hopefully, uh, cloaking shows up at the store. 
Then we kind of have a run going. Okay, nothing. Okay, that is not cloaking. Fair. Let's go. Alright, here goes nothing. Honestly, loading up the halberd was probably better for this event. Maybe not, looking at this. I gotta believe we can pull this off with the mind control. Nice. Okay, that was really fortunate. Definitely can go civilian sector. Abandoned sector proved to be very difficult, but also very profitable. Dang. A okay, small bomb sells for 22. Burst laser one sells for... 25. So that puts us a few scraps shy of purchasing um, what we want here. Looks like we can also go uh, one, two, three and make it back to the store. I gotta give myself every chance to find cloaking here. Additionally, I can waste a jump uh, here if that's not the case. I can go like one, two, three, and then back here instead. Okay, so we are going to make one, two. That's going to be my chance. One scrap reward here of any kind puts me in range for cloaking. Yo-ho! That's actually huge because this is extra power right now, which we are definitely behind on. Okay, I can get a medium scrap and fuel reward for option three here. Sounds awesome. It's great because I don't have to use a hacking part.
We're gonna go one, two, three. I can also achieve the same route by taking this here, but I get to see this jump before the store, which gives me potentially more scrap to spend. Okay. Ooh, okay. Gotta see them both here. There's only one functional upgrade for this run, and that is cloaking. By God, we found it. Okay. That's pretty huge. I'd say that puts our chance of winning uh, from about 40%, maybe closer to 70% now. On this somewhat accursed run. Sigh of relief, for sure. All right, very quick restroom break for me. Returning momentarily for the continuation of the Slug Sea Run. I suppose we wait to sell anything until this store. No harm. Yeah, let's wait till this next store to make a decision on what we're keeping. I would say if we win this run, I bet the score is about 4,300, would be my guess. Alright, this is definitely better than the beam, but the problem with it right now is I cannot power it without spending more scrap. But uh, certainly having, uh, let's see, 10 projectiles every 12 seconds has to be the most desirable setup here. I don't know. I don't think I can afford that flak, no matter how I swing it. Like, if I sell Small Bomb and Halber Beam, I can buy the flak, but look how far we are behind in everything else. Um, I think that... Halberd Beam is the... most efficient way for me to fight the flagship. I get 8 damage per pass on the Halberd Beam. But I think we're dropping Charge Laser or Burst Laser 1 here for Halberd Beam. 
And then maybe loading the small bomb in, because that could also be functional for the flagship fight. Yeah, if I found a flag for free right now, I'd be very happy, but I think to purchase it is asking too much of an already very stretched thin run. It's gonna be like this. Okay. How many jumps in this sector left? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to buy four fuel. I'm going to buy one drone part as well, and then here we are. Surviving. Hey there, Dino Master. Oh, we fighting. Let's go. Since I have cloaking, I cannot use a hacking part here. That's nice. No complaints on my end, Dino Master. It's been a really challenging run of FTL. My favorite. Oh, both Zemu and Jack need names here. Uh, we do have Rabbit and Theodore uh, to name here. I'm gonna make the save you guys for. Uh... Here, we'll do we'll do these names here, and then we'll also do them at the start of the next run. So this is Rabbit, Salvo, Kelk, and Theodore Argesh. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, no kidding, brutally odd. Been a little bit of a trolley run for sure. Okay, we're definitely going to hack on this one because hacking uh, engines ensures that the weapons go down, or the Vulcan goes down, rather. I don't want to sneeze again, body. We just did that. It's not necessary. Not necessary at all. Oh, we already did that. Oh, enemy FTL charging. Let's just mind control this guy. Uh, no way. That offer was pathetic. Okay, weirdly enough, I think that weapon power is our best upgrade right now. Scrap, love it. Okay, they're hacking engines here. That's rude. Okay, I need my hacking system for this fight. Uh, we are going to hack weapons.
Four fuels asking just a little bit too much. Three fuel would have been all there. I'll shield ya. 31 scrap for four damage. Is there a fire anywhere? The vent often causes a fire. I don't hear it. No fire. Cool. Fend for yourself. Attack and escape. Alright, with a engine hack, we take this down. Though I could see us not needing to use a hacking part here. Try to save it. Not nice the FTL's charging though. Good hit. Twenty-eight scrap, get out of here. Been a brutal run. Give me more scrap than that. Alright, I can't believe it, but we've made it to the last stand on this absolute scraper of a Slug C run. Now, will we get a repair station on the way to the base? That remains to be seen here. These could definitely get overtaken, but we have a decent chance at it. Alright, how about for now, I'm going to buy an uh, engine and level 2 backup battery. I think uh, three hacking almost seems required here, too. Okay. Definite weapon hack here. Again. Higher level cloaking can be very useful in the flagship fight, but it is more or less a luxury in most situations.
65 scrap, that's more like it. Okay, one repair station down. I'm really hoping this one stays. Because if not, we're forfeiting this hole. Ooh, there's a store here. Okay, okay. Okay, the repair is still active. That is massive. One sec, hoodie's coming off. least one more power bar here to power everything even with backup battery. I don't even think I'm going to make the level 202 upgrade on this run. I um, should almost certainly try to take one more fight here before the uh, flagship reaches the base. Let's go value piloting, value cloaking, and then with the next reward, probably value O2 in mind control. Just to try to stabilize our systems versus those missile damages. Okay, this is a really fortunate ship layout for us. Just need to use a hacking part on engines and we're safe. The flagship reaches and stays at the base for three turns. You lose the run. That's how it works. But it only moves once every other turn, so it's pretty manageable. You're never going to lose the run to not being able to reach the base before the flagship. There can be some other complications. Sixty-five scrap, definitely good here. Okay, let's buy value mind control, value oxygen, and honestly, one more power bar does not sound wrong. Okay, it is flagship time. We do need to make some choices on what we're hacking here. Uh, it does seem uh, relevant to just hack shields first. I don't like the idea of eating missiles, but the truth is, with this week of a setup, we're entering a DPS race with the flagship. If I had four shields, hacking the weapons and alternating between hack and cloak would be a somewhat viable strategy. 
but that's not really happening here. All right, here we go. I can't believe we made it this far on this run. Just scraping along the galaxy. Okay, where's this gonna land? Okay, weapon hacks are really rude. Really rude. So rude, I may even go to just reset this phase. Exactly, I'm going to reset the phase. Since we were arriving at the same time, I can jump away and then jump back. There will be no resets after this point, though. Not a one. We're just hoping for a more advantageous hack than weapons. So I do have some outs if I do get the weapon hack. I think mainly is the counter hack they're hacking. But for this particular weapon setup, I would say weapon hack is least optimal. Shield hack also hurts, but, you know, I can manage this. Oh, I meant to um, pull the beam through the, the hacking there. Yikes. That's fine. Should have cloaked. All in all, not bad. I could have cloaked to avoid that beam damage uh, in that mid phase, but otherwise went pretty good. wait for them to jump into us on phase two because phase three is the critical moment and we need to reset again. Level 202 then, and we'll defend that. Mm -hmm. 
Stop the missile launcher from firing. That's great. Okay, here comes the drone phase. I'm just going to level two cloak. I think I only need level one here, but this uh, keeps it safer. Okay, phase two went awesome. Alright, phase three is going to be gnarly. It has boarding and mind control. Let's grab an engine here. Alright, here goes nothing. I may be jumping back to the base to reset this. We'll see here in a minute. Okay, they're all, all the way on the other side of the ship. I kind of want to leave them in there for a minute. Let's just vent this out. Counter mind control now. Could have been worse. Got that down. I think we're just going in here. Let's go. has over 5,000 score, I'd be incredibly surprised. I'm going to say 4350. Runs like that are why I still enjoy playing FTL. Okay, 4966, close to 5k. Thirty-four ships defeated, hundred and five beacons explored, fifteen hundred and eighty-one scrap collected. Uh 
awesome run. All right, let me uh, fill in the spreadsheet here with a green pip. And let's roll it in once again. Slug A, Rock B. Man, I like Slug A and I like Rock B. Which one of these have we played most recently? It's Rock B. Yeah, it's in fact been over 20 runs since our last Slug A. So let's do Slug A here. Slug A has a pretty cool setup. All right, feel free to ask some name suggestions for this fine vessel. It's going to stretch my legs real quick, and we'll hop right into another run. Our two starting crew are going to be our latest name and gamers. Thank you both for your donations today. We have Theodore Argash and Rabbit Salvokelk. I'll be back in just two to three minutes here and we'll kick off this run. Thank you. 
all right we have returned let me scroll up here and see uh some suggestions here some good ones The Sizzle Squid is my choice. Combined a couple there. Thank you all for your creative suggestions. All right, our run number 47 begins. Let me update the title here real quick to reflect that. 47, slug A. Uh, Die 102, we're currently doing a random series where I roll two and pick one. Um, so mana ships are a possibility, but I can't guarantee which ship I'll be playing. Currently Slug A. Here we go. Alright, so Slug A is a pretty cool vessel. It's got some very nice um, crew kill potentials. With the, uh, the Breach Bomb and the... Ooh, this is kind of weird. I think we go down here first and then here because if we don't we're probably going to miss out on some jumps yeah this is kind of burly i guess we can also head up here and then come back down to this one right over that seems a little bit better start here i think going down and then over so i gotta make it all the way to this jump to go there so we're kind of either losing up here or losing down here. Not too many other ways around it. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, I'm going to start here. Take it easy, firework. Okay, combat drone's a little dirty. Anti-bio beam should get us a kill here. Now, I am taking a risk that the heavy laser hits us. But if I disable the weapons, or the drones for that matter, um, we're in a very good spot. That's good. This is honestly a risk I probably shouldn't be taking here. Should probably use the breach first to guarantee the disable. Indeed. My doors just went down. Yikes. It's still very salvageable. Ooh, we got a map reveal for that. All right, we're going to need to load up our med bay here and take turns with the O2. Actually, we got this here. 
Oh, no, I should have done the doors first. Son of a gun. I don't know if I get this repair now. Oh, we're going to find out. <laughs> if I don't get this repair, it's going to be tough. We got it. Just barely. Hey, Green Gardener, thanks for making it official with Prime. Appreciate that very much. Yo, Zappasil, thanks for 10 months earlier, too. Sorry for missing you. As always, ever late to our mission notification, do sincerely apologize. Have a terrible case that humanized myself. And part of our no frills format, no pop ups, alerts, or sponsor gameplay. I don't have any alerts playing in my ears for subs and things. All right. Well, both these paths aren't great. Okay, this would be two and a half, three, four. That seems to work out because this is one right here at the edge. Two, three, four. So this is one half, one and a half, two and a half, three, four, and then we make it in here. Barely making it to the exit. That's the path right there. Okay, the ship actually can't damage us. That's nice. So in that previous fight, I 100% should have used a breach bomb at the start to disable the drones fully before switching to bio beam. And that whole situation would have been avoided for only the use of one bomb. Who knows, though, I may want that bomb later. Rejecting the offer here. Okay, this ship can hit me, but probably won't. The mini beam is going to hit us almost no matter what, unless I fire the breach out first. Let's do that. Breach, but breach missile is very fast, so I could technically disable one of the two here. Ah, oh, darn. Okay, uh. Still hit there, that's rude. Now we're swapping to bio beam. Dun, 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 dun. 
I'm going to leave this slug on weapons. Attack the pirate. Hell yeah. I'm gonna go to breach here first. I don't wanna take a bunch of missile damage. I may even just spam out some breach bombs on the O2 after the fact here. Missile damage, anyways, though. Cool. Okay, it's gonna slow it down quite a bit. Unreal, dude. Yeah, I can get the Mantis on the O2 repair if when it's breached by dual lasering the shields here. Oh my god. Amazing. Okay, that's good. This is so much missile resource to be spending here, but I not I don't want to eat any more two damage missiles. I don't. That is a very nice offer. That's a thir something that sells for thirty seven or thirty five at this upcoming store. I accept. Definitely made that pain worth it. Oh, yeah. Like, I kind of want to buy Heavy Laser 2, but at the same time, I'd also like to buy... Hacking. This hacking's a little more future proof. I think uh, Heavy Laser 2 and then Backup Battery sounds pretty nice. What's the other thing I could sell here? Anti Bio Beam. Not again selling the anti bio beam too. It is pretty reliable crew kills. I would actually say the heavy laser two is also pretty reliable crew kills in sector one. So this will bring us to 132. Yeah, I can't have everything I want here. Whole Laser 2 is also quite good in the early game, but maybe a little bit slow after that. Alright, I'm gonna buy Heavy Laser 2. Oh, do I buy a backup battery here? It means more chances for cloaking and hacking later on. Yeah, I do. Just gonna do that and buy four repair. Now we're saving for two shields and two shields only. Are we actually diving here? Yikes. We are. Unless I go back up top here. 
Let's do that. So then I can go one and then go one, two, three, four and make the exit. Okay. How about non-crew risk right here? I'll shield you. Eight easy scrap, I'll take it. Hell yeah, outpost, let's go. Brutal, man. That's fine. Okay. They're going to cloak now. You got to be kidding me. I'm loading my fastest weapon, which is the breach. That was quite gnarly. At least the missile launcher can't come back online now. That double reward makes up for the lost hole. Painful event, nonetheless. Priest up, hell yeah. Aid the Federation ship. Alright, it's going to be a nice, easy bio beam kill. Love it. Since this ship might try to run from us and they have such low hull, I'm actually only going to fire one laser at a time here. And let the bio beam do its thing without damaging the ship at all. Now we can fire both. Cool. They're not going to run. The next bio beam kills. Rescue the crew. What's up, Zass? Noise. All right, Zass going to be the weapons manus. Arcarius, and then we're at the top of the list. Nice. Okay. 
Okay, we're going to buy two shields right now. You know, I'm going to take this. This is kind of uh, good for later. Uncharted Nebula it is. We have a chance for four nebulas here, but I'd like some green in between that. We can still get four on this route. Wow. Let's go up and then come back down here. Look, we have a good pathing on this sector. It makes more sense to do this. No, going up first is better, I think. Alright, repugnant, arm the weapons. You can't go around space calling people repugnant. There's rules, man. There's rules. I'm going to go for a breach in O2 here, because that will sort it out. The O2 is down, there's a breach in here, the repair will not happen. You can just swap to anti-bio beam now. Let's see here. How long has it been now? No pinball since 2017. Six years. Wow. Yo, nice Hillary to get your NGB victory today. Very nice. Well played. Spore is very baby, very kitty today. Yeah, we've got to try to disable piloting first here. Honestly, really brutal fights. Okay, I think we can fire the breach again before they cloak. Not the dual laser, though. Please disable. Ooh, not quite. Okay, if we're lucky, we might be able to disable here before they jump. Okay, good. I'm gonna drop a breach in here just to make this safe. Okay, um, I think it might be worth doing a little training here. Eh. Nah. Maybe, though. Let's chill for just a second. I don't feel like this run is going all that well at the start. Prefer to avoid putting myself in a situation like we had last run, because that's pretty gnarly. One more weapon upgrade, and we have the heavy laser dual laser. That's a lot more powerful than our current system.
In this case, it will not zillion because we used a breach bomb to create a breach, so there's no repair able to happen on the enemy ship. Which is quite a nice feature. going fast enough. I'm going to grab my pilot engines here. Not big on training on these runs, but, you know, when it's right, it's right. Just go back on weapons and I'll auto-fire the anti-bio beam. No, I won't. Never mind. more have you considered being a little less baby and a little more kitty okay thanks he's trolling today up shuffle shadow crystal camu a lot of cool people here for our sunday stream love it guys laggard alert oh you pulled it back in good for you bud good for you Definitely say so, Mad Dog West. FTL has always been and will always be a very challenging game. way now so it's going to speed up you'd be amazed how much that four percent makes a difference So I level one cloak. We'll just take cloak down and then shields after the uh, training's done. And the reason I'm willing to train here is that the slug on pilot and engine is a very powerful combo because they can't be mind controlled. It is highly unlikely these crew ever move off their positions in terms of where they're manning the ship. halfway in shields is also interesting okay, there's no store up here so we're going to be heading down and then back up definitely actually i think we're heading down and then back up this way interesting
Alright, one more dodge and we're there. Noise. So we went from 20% dodge there to 30% dodge. Not a small deal. How much for weapon power? 35. I kind of want to see a store, but I also just kind of want to upgrade this weapon. Let's uh, let's keep hacking in mind. Attack the ship. All right. The defense, too, is going to take out one of our two lasers. So this is Bio Beam City. If this ship had... Med Bay or Clone Bay, we'd be, uh... Not getting this done. Well, Clone Bay, we could breach bomb. I'm glad they have neither of those things. Close. I don't think we missed a single shot on that entire fight. That was cool. Okay, with two shields, we're totally safe here. Awesome. Okay, well, as long as the weapons get hit, we're safe then. Finally. Oh, you did. I see no reason not to take three or even four jumps before the store here. That'll let us know where we're at. 
Yehovogon PT, thanks for 21 months. Enjoy that continued lurk. Speaking of lurkers, let's do our lurker roll call right now. Almost seven hours into the broadcast on this third run. Uh, if you're lurking in the channel, I mean, you're an active watcher, but not an active chatter. You have the capability to, and you want to. Now you're trying to post some of your favorite emotes in the chat. Just thank you all for your silent contribution. You're all beautiful and excellent. Glad to share this time and place with you. Look at all those lurkers. Awesome. Hey there, no Hala Fu Soda Boda. What's up, Taralsa? Duh 33, Chivo Seeker, Horns Fan, Sirius Agonza, Athros, Dark Light, what's up, Beast, Lingerer, Cletus, Esquire. Hey there, is is Mozilla? Aventus, Skinner, Canaletto, Brutally Odd, Hannibal, Pojo Dan, Subtuma, Reject. Major Qual, Good Chopper, Samurai 7, Leon Paintbrush, Dargon, Tau Wolfred, Kinster, Destin the Insane, Scottish, Sub Teapot, Mythic Applesauce, Mr. Grizz, Cali Commuter, Sub Corfred, Final Resting, Double Guns, Lumi, Sub Severity, Phoenix Rising, Nutty Buckeye, Jerf Durf, Crystal Camu, and there's Zeon's Layman, Sirius, Great Flying Fish, Brass Cat, Malarkey, and there's Jersey and Alazen. Beautiful Lurker Roll Call. Thank you, everyone. Hey, Terral, so thanks for 86 months of support. Enjoy your continued Lurk and Brass Cat, Malarkey. Thanks for 14 during our Lurker Roll Call. Lurkers do be the best. Is there any reason not to take this jump first? One, two, three, four, three, four. Ah, this all looks like it passed out good. There won't be a next time. Open fire! All right, easy anti-bio beam here. I hit them both there. I'm just going to fire the one laser. I'd hate to start like a running sequence here or something. Yo ho, yeahs. The engineer, sick. Yo, thank you all for this hype train. Do you choose to share your resub notifications, subscribe, use bits or gif? Got a chance at some exclusive emo unlocks. Malice O'Pair, thanks for 100 bits, kicking that off. Cheers. All right, Yeaz is going to be starting at the bottom now. Elortanus. Number 211. Okay. System repair is out. Looks like flax in here. Yeah, the anti-bio beam's been awesome. This is about the time it falls off, and we have other ways to get crew kills here with the breach bomb, so we're gonna use missile resource now instead. Go ahead and get some fuel here and also buy this little repair. And then I'll buy a 
power bar, and then we're going to buy weapon power next, because flak dual laser breach is really good for right now. Oh, wait, I left long range scanners hanging, didn't I? Dang it. Um. I could sell the heavy laser. It's going to be a long time till this is functional. I think I will sell this here, in fact. I think that was kind of a happy accident. It's something I should have been considering anyways. Like, I think if I was thinking about that differently, I probably would have tried to keep everything. But I think this is cleaner overall, because five projectiles plus breach is good for the next almost three sectors. Okay, it is very likely here that we can just breach bomb down the O2. The only way this won't work is if they have a system repair drone. Okay, there's no system repair. Good. So this room is uh, having the O2 drained out really quick. I only need the one breach because as long as I can keep the O2 room down, when they try to come repair it here, they'll get it. But the rooms already devoid of oxygen are very close. So when they finish the repair, I just fire out again. Yeah, I do think selling breach was also a fine option there. I just really like the breach bomb for like this particular scenario. The breach is kind of still in its sweet spot for getting crew kills. Not unlikely the breach will result in finding a new weapon. Nice reward. Oh, nice store. Okay, I guess I'll check it out. Maybe just a few fuel here. Okay, well. We're just not quite there yet. Let's just buy uh, two fuel, and then I'm going to buy the weapon power like I was going to anyways. Alright, so this is an easy crew kill. We start by almost killing this crew, but not quite finishing them off. Then we let the other one board, then we just pop the clone bay in the last crew. Easy.
Awesome. That is ridiculously good right now. And gives us a direct escalation on our system, too. Beautiful. You know what? I'm going to buy six fuel for 12 scrap here. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to sell 12 drum parts for 48 scrap. It does bring us down to one drum part, but even if I picked up hacking right now, I would not be needing to use parts at the moment. Engine control for certain. Okay, one, two, three, store. Hoping for the hacking pickup. Yo! Very cool. Love to see that. It's a really weirdly laid out sector, though. Okay, not a joke system. I don't want to try breaching the O2 here and then the med bay. I could definitely see the uh, breach bomb falling off um, in not too long. That's good. There's fire in this room and there's a breach happening. That's good. All right, so all I gotta do now is use two more breach bombs here, or maybe even I can just slam them. They have very low health. Oh, yeah. Do it the old-fashioned way. Six fuel, 31 scrap. Amazing. Still need to heal up my manas. All right, uh, let's see here. That weapon system is definitely dangerous. We need to respect this. I want to hit the weapons first and then breach the O2. Good. Now we can breach this. Drop the breach now, I think. Oh, he's still getting the repair in. Good for him. Oh, he repaired the O2? Sons of guns. Missed that. Ah, they got slug repair gel. Good for them. One, two, three, four, five, six before the exit. One, two, three, four, five, six, exit.
think I'm just going to save here. I don't feel like my system's in any danger. Maybe I'll buy a power bar. Yeah, let's buy one power bar right now. I think this is definitely adequate. Still puts me in possible range of buying cloaking. Or I can even go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, nada. Nope. Yo, antique pizza slice. Thanks for 16 months. Thanks a lot, man. Let's start with this. Hopefully this store has what I want. It does. This makes me feel better about not taking that next door. Now we just go two, three, and then to the exit. Yo, nice reward, man. Awesome. Hmm. Pretty nasty loadout. Let's attack the scum here. We're going for like a weapon hack on this one. Good to know. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to swap over to the breach now that we have this double fire going on. They in trubs. Least level 202, seeing as how much oxygen is in this room. Start with this. A good amount of crew damage. And yes, they do have slug repair gel, but these breaches are still going to put in work. Oh, we can kill them with just the breaches if we need to. This guy is low health too, I think. Doom, 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 doom. Yeah, he's going to be below 20 here. Let's just use a breach bomb to finish him off. Hey, we got a high scrap reward and the crew. Awesome. Marty Con. All right, Marty can be on the doors here. Looks good. Lug Home Nebula. Here we go. Okay, let's just bring this weapon online. There we go. We have our full weapon complement plus hacking. Got a good route to head into three shields here as well. I'm going to go one, two, three, and then we'll swing down this way. 
Actually, this seems better, and maybe there'll be more fights down here. Better connection going down and then up. Okay. Big miss. Okay, I'm gonna fire a four laser volley here. That's tough. Easy race. Good. Oh, he did. Okay, I'm gonna go for the O2 hit next. Maybe didn't need to use a breach bomb there, maybe. Kill it. I think the next immediate purchase I want to make would be three shields, like three shields, three engines, maybe two hacking. If I can get all that going by the end of this sector, I'll be in a very uh, happy place. Okay, this one could be rough. Look at all that ion. I probably should go ahead and use a hacking part here. Yeah, actually, it's a big yikes. That's good. This is the ship we can go for the O2 hit on now. Nice. And the breach. Awesome. We will not accept surrender. They do have slug repair gel, but we're still losing probably 20, 25% oxygen in that room before the breach automatically closes. There's no way he's getting that repaired in time. Well, I turn on my own O2, I guess. Good job, you got one weapon up. Nice work, bud.
guy in the engine room is just doing his darndest, that's all. Doing his darndest. A lot of a potential damage here. Let's go. Combat drone as well. Yikes. If I wasn't taking down Zoltan Shield so well, I'd be very hesitant on this one. That's bad. Oh no. Disaster. All misses too, dang. Brutal. This might be run right here. Indeed, wow. I underestimated the damage output on that ship. Crazy. Well, fun run. Some runs do end like that. Took a risk, got punished. I'm going to lock this one into a red bubble on the spreadsheet there. Yeah, that's FTL in a nutshell. What I was expecting was a one damage and a three damage missile, but not Artemis and Hole together. Five damage per missile volley is pretty nasty. I still think, though, if our first volley would have gone well, we would have been able to hack the weapons and stabilized. All right, then we're not going to play it right now. Let's random, uh, let's random two here. Federation A, Zoltan A. Okay, so we're going to be playing Zoltan A next. Uh, FTL run that we do. I'm gonna put that in the spreadsheet right now just so I know where we're at. Number 48, Sultan A. All right, let's run the uh, Lunker 2 daily here to round this out. With this, I'm going to start a prediction for the daily run. It's going to be how far is the daily going to make it is the uh, question. I'm going to put 10 minutes on this one. I'm going to take a quick five minute break uh, in between our game transition here. But before I stand up, also going to uh, get a penguin in hand here. Get ready for penguin in the hole. The most important part of playing Spelunky. Yeah, we're on Colin here. We're already doing a duot challenge. It's basically Onkless Cosmic Ocean.
All right, penguins in hand. All right, again, just going to stand up, stretch here real quick. Encourage you to do the same. I'll leave you with this uh, kitters in the bed. Two kitters. There we go. Double kitters. There they are. Be back in just a minute for this Belunky 2 daily. Technically yesterday's daily, so if you have any info, feel free to share it. If not, that's cool too. Be right back. All right, I have returned. Exactly five minutes left to get your prediction in if you want to. Hope you enjoyed the sleepy kitties during break. Let's go ahead and get some penguin going. Penguin in the hole. Looking good, Colin. Penguin to the moon. You wouldn't. Oh, he just did. Penguin 180. Turn around. Chair sit down. Here we go. All right. All right. That's why we warm up. Really? That one felt good. One more time. There it is. Calibrated. 
All right, this day only has a few hours left, so let's kick it off in style. Yo, IS Tech Geek, thanks for 103 months of support. Appreciate that. Let's thank you all for that amazing support today and every day. It's been a real uh, interesting and wild year on Twitch. Glad to still be here doing our thing. I can tell you one thing about streaming. Every year is going to be a weird year. I do feel like in 2023, the landscape of the site overall has changed a ton. So I was very grateful to still have this thing. That yesterday has been a little bit of a slow year for the stream. That's not a complaint, though. Uh, no question whether we're going to be here full time or not. It's been an interesting shakeup, and it's not just me. It's site wide. Not a complaint, merely an observation, and uh, makes me feel even more grateful for what we have here, which is awesome. Yo, Admiral Akbir, thanks for 50 months, dude. Thank you. Uh, okay, let's grab this other Turkso. We going? I've got a turkey stack. Try to stop me. Okay, let's take care of these spiders here. Do, 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 do. What? I did that to myself. Hey, this, this has to put Yang on the bottom half here. Or over here. Okay, Yang's down here then. Okay, we're going to drop one turkey down. We're going to ride one turkey down. Okay, what's in the box? Anybody know? What a bust. How much is shield here? 12,000? Okay. If I had shield, I'd consider smushing Yang here. See what's in the box, man. It's a crossbow. Later, Tater. Later, Tater. That's a cool toss, Colin. Okay, we can just walk into the dwelling area. Awesome. Love to see it. Yeah, I think smushing Yang does destroy the key, though there is a chance it pops out the side. I don't remember, to be honest. Smush strats aren't a, a common occurrence. Alright, that's that then. Me and my lucky rocker are out of here. Oh, the cash gains have been pretty dismal here. Still think I should be going jungle on this route. Because no equipments is the main reason.
No skelly key, fair. Yeah, I think hands just don't pick up shields anymore. Uh, not the iron ones anyways, or steel. A bad recovery. I was ready for that spoods, man. All right, I'm going to buy a turkey stack here. Let's go. Now your turkey stacking. Oh, there's a thing right here. Um, okay, hold. You know what? I'm gonna bomb here. I can drop this and I can drop the key down too. Um Only at 135. We're making okay time. Felt like I was behind on inputs here, but we're doing good. Whoa, dude! That was pretty rude, man. I didn't realize that was directly above the entrance. So did I actually get hit there, or was I in the influence of iframes? I think I had iframes. dirty trick that was. Me and my classic style turkey stack are out of here. I was at six there, so I took a hit. Fair. I'm not sure I did. I'm just going to leave these down here for a moment. It's bow time. There's the bow right there. Okay, we did not take damage on the spider. That's good. It's 
like a crate down here, maybe? Yep. Ropes. Oh, no. Cool, Birdo. Thanks for checking that. So we did have iframes on entering the door. That's fair. Kind of how I expected that to work, but sometimes you just don't know. Now your turkey stacking. I feel like there's not a Kali Shrine on this level. And even if there is, I should, I'm just going to bomb here. Um, I'm just going to bomb here. Of course. Yeah, double big ass spike pit. I'm good. I'm good. Yo, Johnson Unit, thanks for 117 months of support. Appreciate that. Puppers got stuck. Is this a sister or not? Black Mark is not on this level. We'd hear a music change if it was. A big vine, man. All right, we sprung an ooh. Okay. Well, I don't actually have the resources to be reaching that. And I'm not killing the shopkeeper here. No way. Do I get there for getting through this? That changes things. Oh, 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 that's too bad. Too bad indeed. It's all right. I believe if I would have got the Witch Doctor, this guy live, and the Man Trap, we would have gotten halfway to Kapala. But there will be another shrine. There will be another. No black markets here. Okay, I heard it. I see the entrance. It's right below the sister. Cool. Huh? Huh? Hmm. 
right in here. Okay, it's right there. Bonk. I may be having to steal here on this black market, which is a tough one. Barely got the goods to steal. I'm gonna buy Haji and then uh, just buy one of these bomb bags and come back with whatever money we get in the level. Like, I can steal here, but it's a pretty major risk with the way it's currently laid out. And we have a lot of level to clear. Probably should have brought the. damsel as well. That's going to be the sister right there, huh? Maybe not the sister here, actually. Oh, we already got the sister. This is the key for the area up top, which I can get back to. Well, there is a Kali shrine here. I, I heard... Yeah, let's grab the statue and then we'll um, hustle buns to get our Kapala this level and leave. Got a lot of work to do in two minutes. Okay, fair enough. Gonna be a stretch. Oh my god, did it again.
Ooh, lad, we did everything. That was a very a serious level. Alright, I'm going to uh, do the normal method here. So that would have been made a lot easier had I got the first half of Kapala like we could have on the previous shrine. It's about as far as you can possibly go to get a single uh, <laughs> sacrifice there. Got quick method here, awesome. Make sure we have enough to enter the challenge in the temple, and we do. Yeah, but think of the potential payout, Destin. It'd be huge. grab a couple health here, but we're going to be dying in Dua anyways, so uh, not going to 99 here or anything. That'll be good. That rare kidder's on the exit.
later, Tater. Here we go. That's gross. You've been squashed. I don't see any gold pot axe around here. Let's just go to Duot, man. Is that the poison tick that set him off there? Must have been. Juicing up some health here. I think we're only getting three bombs from Kali here because so we're exactly at the um, sacrifice threshold.
Nice. All right, well, that's Dua, City of the Dead. We gave up our Ankh. We got a guaranteed jetpack, so now we have no safety net. Kind of cool not to have um, bike shoes just yet. That's correct. The route to Duot is always through City of Gold. Hoppers, what are you doing at? What? What happened there? Oh, the Yeti that I picked up woke up. I get it now. I get it now. Didn't have spike shoes. I thought I had spike shoes when I... Uh, jumped on that yeti but i didn't pick them up off the queen well that's the daily for you number 249 of the 1500 players to go yo that's fair man that's fair All right, everybody, that's the stream today. Thank you all for the great time, wonderful company, and awesome conversation for our triple FTL run in Spelunky 2 Daily. Wish that one got a little bit further, but hey, sometimes Spelunky do you just like that. You back and at it again soon for some more fun. Uh, Discord for updates, as always. Thanks for the great eight hours today. Had a blast with all of them. Thank you all for your time and support, and uh, thank you most of all for the time you chose to spend here watching today. Appreciate you all very much. Catch you on the flip side. Looking forward to it already. Take her easy.